The Pyramid of the Viridian Flame sits deep within the Kashigari Desert. To hear you have come, seeking another of the eyes of Kalax, supposedly hidden somewhere in its heart. Having made your way through the lower levels, you found a secret passageway leading up deeper into the dungeon. Unfortunately, uh, you triggered some kind of hidden defense, which sealed the secret door behind you. Emerging onto an upper hallway, which you'll see here, lined with statues of robed women holding swords to their faces. No sooner had you emerged into the hallway than the statues began to animate. Three of them, at least. And out of the darkness, a shadowy form billowed, as if born on the breath of the god that is said to lie deep beneath his temple. Roll for initiative. Shit. Ah, oh, you're the worst. All right. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I got Aldrich. a one. <laughs> Aldrich? Three. Okay, Bellis. <laughs> Six. So after they all die, is it the Hagen show? Yeah. <laughs> Danta. I got one. one. one yeah. said, uh, It'll be a uh, nice spin-off series. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jadarian? Five. Well, it's Five. Been nice knowing you all. <laughs> and uh, Avil. Two. That really threw me off, you saying it like that. <laughs> okay. Um, Bellis, go for it. Jadarian, you're next. What do you want to do? Um, I uh, I cast a spell uh, and touch Eldrick. Stick your feet to the stones. All right. And how much strength points does Eldrick get today? He gets today. Goodness. Uh, three again. 20. Oh, nice. I keep rolling three. That's good. That's handy. It's good for the numbers. Yes. And how how long does that last again? Uh, Five rounds. Six rounds. Okay, cool. All right, Aldrich, you feel your feet become planted into the earth as the strength of stone washes into you. Jadarian. Um, Seven rounds. So, in situations wise, what is the closest to us? The closest to you would be either one of the uh, one of the columns that has come to life or the undead creature billowing up from below the large red number 12 on the map. Have I got any idea what this creature is? Uh, it looks like a humanoid form made of smoke. Well, I mean, you can see it on the picture there. It looks like that. There's a horrendous cold washing out from it. You can see your breath pluming in front of your mouth as it draws near. Any of my magic knowledge is a normal arrow probably wouldn't do jack against this. Probably not, no. Uh, you can make me an intelligence check, go on. Uh, and it's at a Ten. minus five, so that's still 15. a success. Right. Um, you know that uh, against many undead creatures, magical or silver weapons are required to do any, any damage. Okay, I'm going to shoot two arrows at the undead thing then. Uh, okay. And for those of you who uh, may have forgotten it, <coughs> you are actually given some silver uh, weapons back in like episode. Oh, I, I, I oh, have some. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my own. The other I creature is on, is on a class 16, Lee. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, well, one definitely missed, and one was a hit 25, and that would be max damage anyway, so 13. Uh, 14, actually, with the plus one magical arrow. Okay. The oh no! Hang on. Right. Did you say armor class fifteen? Sixteen. Sixteen. That would have hit then, yeah. So the other, the other one would have hit as well then, because yeah, I have the plus eleven the other one, uh, and the other one would be eleven damage. So fourteen and eleven. Quick nice. time out, Mark. Quick time out. Do we yeah. have an inspiration left over from last session? Because I seem to recall that Avil did one right before we came up this level. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Just to make sure. Okay. Um, 
So the two arrows burrow straight into the uh, undead creature, and you can see them doing these corkscrewing little uh, wounds made of pale white light as they streak through it. It gives a high-pitched shriek and diverts its course directly toward you. I move behind Aldrich. Yeah, you're hiding, are you? Good, brave, brave man. Uh, okay. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Aldrich, um, from bar- so this billowing undead creature is streaking toward you, or toward Jadarin, who's hiding behind you. And off in the other direction, you can hear the stony crunch of the uh, statues that have come to life, <laughs> raising their stone blades to strike. Okay. Um, as it comes towards me, I... Uh... <laughs> I try and hit it first with my uh, my uh, ranceur. If that yep. doesn't work, I'm going to quickly unlimber the silver axe from my belt. Okay, and is this, is this is this is this uh, the undead you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Because it was coming straight towards me, you said. Yeah. Unless I'm Go closer on. to the golems or whatever they, those things are. You're, you're equal, equidistant from either. Um... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna try. I try. I'm gonna still do what I, I said I was gonna do. Roll. All right. Who was given the silver short sword? Was it me or was it Hagen? Okay. Hagen. Um. So that's a twenty-nine to hit, and it okay. does. <laughs> so the blade uh, of your rancor sweeps clean through the undead form's body, doing no damage whatsoever. Okay. My second attack. Then can I? quickly pull out the, the silver axe. No, you're going to get a second attack with the Rancer. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to uh, keep it as a perfect parry. Okay, and the, the half of your Rancer. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, if I can, I don't even know. The uh, stone figures move <laughs> forward, Avel and uh, Shanta. Um, you notice they're ignoring both of you. Oh, well, that's neat. Recall at the end of the last session, uh, Aval, you put on uh, a mask and robe. Yes, <laughs> I did. You changed we your are appearance. so smart. And Me and Aval have got this last. To make it look as if you were wearing a uh, such an item. So, I have the masks, don't I? Hold on. Oh, that's a natural twenty, Aldric. Uh, you managed to parry the slash from one of the uh, the stone golems. Uh, the other one gets under your guard, however and strikes you solidly for... Okay, a bit jumpy dice. Um, for six points of damage there. Your blood is bright in the air as you uh, drop to 25 hit points. <coughs> uh, the third one lunges for you, Bellis. <laughs> you managed to duck under his blade fairly easily. Jadarian, the undead creature, similarly swoops around uh, Aldric and reaches its long claw-like hand towards you. Uh, brushes the air in front of you, failing to make contact. Okay, and uh, Avel and then Shanta. Um, can I hand out the masks to everyone in the group? That can be your action if you want, yes. I would like to do that, thank you. And I say, put them on, quickly. Okay. And Shanta? So have they all got masks on now? Were there enough for everyone? uh, She's handed them out. Ah. And told everyone to put them on quickly. So what do you do? Uh, Well, I'm going to put a mini mask on... Mr. Squee Pinchy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Good job. Anything else? I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll cradle him in terror, yes. Yeah. Good. Always a good tactic. Bellis. Oh my god. Um, I uh, I step forward uh, and uh, hold up my holy symbol towards. uh, the end of monstrosity. Yes. And, uh, in the name of the ghost mother, be gone or cross over. Okay, roll. You need a 19 or higher. 17. Oh, too bad. Oh. 
Um, the thing turns Crisis. its hideous undead gaze toward you. You're next. It says, uh, Janarian. Okay, um, putting the mask on, what is that? A movement or? Yeah, move. I'll uh, put the mask on. Um, does it make any difference to the undead? Probably not. You'll have to, find, have to wait and see, won't you? <laughs> no, I'm going to shoot it twice. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, 19. That's a crit for me. Yeah. And a 17. 18 with okay. the thingy. So one's maximum damage of 14, and the other one is not bad. 13. Okay. 27. That's another two magical arrows. Eh? All right. Um, the magic arrows just tear the thing completely apart, ripping it into tiny, dissipating shreds. You realize to your shock that four well-placed arrows, one of them beautifully right underneath its metal crown, have dissipated the creature entirely. Wow. It's, I don't think it's, so. Its remnants blow over you. And you feel your entire form chilled by their presence. Nice one. That was a level drainer. Ooh. Was it? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> uh, glad I, you're welcome, glad guys. I wow. that. <laughs> you're welcome. Jesus Christ. Uh, I okay, guess we'll never and, know. <laughs> and Aldrich. <laughs> um, I put on the mask as a move action. Yeah. And uh, then I uh, l turn to face the carry the the, the, the the women robed women statue things. Yep. Um, and I uh, see wait to see what they do. But I hold my I hold my Ranso ready in case to parry. Okay. Um, right. They you can see them kind of step towards you as if somehow it registers the mask and. <laughs> turns away <clears throat> and uh, lunges for Bellis. In fact, all three of them are converging on the moon white. She now being the only one who is... Uh, as soon as not... I get a chance, I'll put on the mask. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> going to, time. I'm going to interpose myself as my action between Bellis and them. Okay. And use my parries if necessary. I have three parries. Okay. So uh, roll for your parries then. Uh, can Finesse. they be perfect parries? Well, as for the description of the feat, uh, like if I sacrifice an attack, I can I can get a perfect parry. But I don't know how many of those I can do in a round. Uh, it has to be a primary attack. Yeah, I can. I'm doing all of them. Okay, or so that's, that's, that's two, two. Two primary attacks. Okay, well then I'll use two primary attacks and then I'll roll to parry my half strike. Okay, roll <laughs> with the roll for the half strike then. Okay. Uh, a modified uh, 16. Ah, 24. I rolled a 19. Uh, Ow. Well, that's one. Three, four, five. Five damage to a Bellis. You parry the other two. Bellis, 14 hit points. Anything from a Bell Enchanter? Um, is, there a, is there a golem near me? Oh, there are three. They're all clustering around the uh, around the moon white. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to do the same thing as Aldric and just put myself in front of Bellis. To, to, to protect her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Shanta. I'll use my mask cantrip and put it on Bellis, seeing she hasn't uh, equipped it yet. Okay. All right. Well, Bellis, you would be next, but the shimmering illusion of a mask washes over your face. And all... Three of the golems step back into their places on the corridor wall. <laughs> and assume their previous position. Swords <sighs> held in front of their face. I think we should keep wearing these masks. Sounds like a good plan. And I'll, uh, I'll have a thing yes. where wherever I know it's going to run out, I'll instantly put it over me and Bellis again. And squee. Okay. <laughs> does my um can't forget does my squeaky bum debuff end we have enough of Your those masks right squeaky bum debuff yeah do you have that in a language i might understand <laughs> <laughs> Bella, so you still have a real mask from avil <laughs> okay um there is a soft creaking noise 
the sound of stone grating against stone. That not coming from the statues. It's not coming from. It's actually coming from behind one of the statues. Yes, it's you realize that, that it is the secret door opening. <gasps> oh, fantastic! I shoot ten arrows at the first thing I see. Hagen, <laughs> <laughs> <Hagen>, no! <laughs> 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 Hagen is standing there in the darkness. Secret door swings slowly shut behind him. No. Hold the door! Hold the door! Hold the door! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, he reaches out and holds the door. <laughs> it's actually the one at the bottom of the stairs, if you recall, not this one. Yeah. Oh. As soon well, as I see Hagen, I'll put a mask on him as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so take your time. Nice to see you too. He says to Shanta, the reaction of the the mask. <laughs> Uh, 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 Aldrich walks up to you wearing a mask uh, and uh, claps your uh, forearm. Good to see you, man. For your information, Grendy, um, everyone is wearing these slightly tatty green robes and has uh, a mask of very smooth jade, like a sort of um, tragedy comedy mask, but smooth, featureless, just eye holes slit for the mouth. So this, I, I lift. Okay. I lift my mask slightly just to so you know. It's me. <laughs> it's not so much. It's me more that he can see those, that I'm that they can see my face. I really wanted them to come alive as soon as you lift it. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> just like you can. Oh. Can we just have a recap well, on our well, health well, mark? That, well, in that case, my reaction would not have been uh, nice to see you too, but more like, who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> but can't you tell from the hat on my head? It's me. <laughs> uh. Avril, do you have a spare mask for Hagen? Um, how many did I pick up? Yeah, I picked oh, up seven. Okay. So there's one for you too. Oh, uh, thank you. Toss. Uh. <laughs> you drop it. And smash. Yeah, <laughs> smashes two <laughs> million. <laughs> that is worth seven hundred gold pieces. Don't drop it. Oh, the fancy uh, one. Okay, right. Oh, wait, um, I have the fancy one? Nice. Okay, Aldrich, uh, 25 hit points, Bellis yeah. 14, uh, Judarian 15. Everyone else is uninjured. I uh, put a cure light uh, on uh, on Aldrich. Okay. I relieve, you. I'm relieved to see you all alive. I'm, I trust I haven't missed anything too important. Oh, no, mm. nothing too important. And I do, it's exactly uh, enough to bring me to horizons on me. <laughs> Sorry, did you oh, say no, you've done healing? Sorry, it's not yeah. enough to bring me to fall. It's 32. 32. And how much did you say on yourself, Bellis? Uh, I'll do four horizons on myself. So that puts you up to 18. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I, I, still, I, still have a, I still have a scratch over here. Did you heal anyone else? Chance you want to run over. <laughs> you, you want me to heal it for you? No, it's all right. It's all right. Thank all right. you. It, uh, oh, it's just a scratch. <laughs> Abel is absolutely laughing in the background. Uh, <laughs> fine. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pet Squee. Make sure he's okay. <laughs> it's not been idle. You see uh, what Drew said in chat. My dogs are going fucking ballistic. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so Hagen starts to talk and then when he hears the frog squeak he kind of looks at it with apprehension and confusion. I I Whoa. Where did the frog come from? I use my fine familiar. His name is Mr. Squee Pinchy. Yes, the newest member of the bastard squad. Congratulations. <laughs> I have much to tell you. Oh. Um, maybe we should find a, a a safe place to stand while we do that. Yes. Let's yes. make sure there's no more undead coming for us. Yeah, and, and if you haven't noticed in this temple of the green flame, this whole green outfit, the green is kind of a theme here. Carl, you need to get closer to your mic. Okay. This mm, green. Kind of theme here. <laughs> Did the undead drop anything, Mark, or just it's nothing? It just dropped its nothing, correct. Oh. Okay. Did that, that metal helmet vanish as well? No, it's got that kind of metal helmet, but I mean, it's an old rusted iron crown. I mean, okay. Yeah, you know, you could maybe fetch four, maybe five on a good day gold pieces. So I totally put it on my head. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> nah. um, you look smashing. He Does it raise my AC? 
<laughs> I'll give more lines, it'd be cursed. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get somewhere. Well, we're yeah. pretty much stuck in here. We can't get down. Yeah, how about we go to that corner alcove? At least, at least it's only open on one end. Oh, by the number 12? Yeah. Okay. All right. Make sure, make sure there's nothing in there. The things you have yeah. to tell us, is it important? Yes, it is. Then go ahead. Well, uh, I sneaked into Fort Valdo. You Bone did? Mother Talora. Yes. They've captured Bone Mother Talora. She's been taken to Damarash. And what about Galric? She's alive. There's news of Galric, too. I don't know what they've done to him. He's been drugged or is under some sort of enchantment, but he's very, very happy about his upcoming thing. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having a trouble hearing you. You're a bit laggy. Sorry, yeah, I'm having some. Uh, he's very, very happy about his upcoming wedding to Saltara. Oh. No! Right. And that's not it. The ghost elves definitely have an eye of Kalax. And they sent another west. And Mordath is planning to attack the ghost elves and take their eye. We need to warn them. Well, we have no we have no time to waste. Let's uh let's get this one. Let's get out of here as quickly as we can and um, try and see if we can intercept them. Agreed. Hopefully these costumes will stop the remaining residents from trying to end our lives. There's one thing I don't have anything uh, against and it's any p traps that might be here. And it, as it happens, you showed up at the right moment. Huh. I'll we were a little best. bit worried going in. <laughs> I was perfectly okay. <laughs> sure you were. Yeah, okay. During this, I'll, Chance will be changing his outfit into green. Um, oh, but, up uh, uh, the Lord of Mordoth. Very well. Yeah. Sorry? I'll start looking. Uh, I'll start checking for traps. Okay, so I've uh, expanded your your viewed area on the map. You can mm -hmm. see from the the alcove, there's a corridor running south, <clears throat> a little uh, little crossroads, a door to the right, and a, uh, like a hallway to the left. From the hallway to the uh, to the left in this direction here, from kind of over here, there's light, flickering green light coming continually. Bellis mentioned Soltara's father. Was he definitely dead? Um, do I know anything about that? No. Uh, Mark? I can't say. Fine. Let's move on, well, shall we? I suppose down the corridor where that light is. That must be where the flame might be, right? Yeah, on the level below, you saw a, a large chamber in a similar position. Right. Just to refresh your memory, I'll, uh, I'll show you that again. My deity from Patreon said that this place was a dangerous place and they're trying to screw us over, so let's be careful. <laughs> Good this idea. Is true. Good plan. Aren't we always careful? That's debatable. Mm. Yes, I was being <laughs> sarcastic. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. <coughs> sure. In, th in that case, yes. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's lead on south. Okay. All right. Then I will. I will take point and search for traps. Alright. 
you reach the uh, the crossroads without encountering any traps. Okay. I'll follow closely behind, ten feet behind him at all times. Okay. I'll take up the rear. I'll talk to Squee. I will also try and talk to Squee. Okay. <laughs> Apple, it's so telepathic. You can... <laughs> oh. Oh, okay then. Through the archway, you can make out a uh, the northern end of a large chamber. Columns probably circling what must be the, uh, the Viridian flame, although here it appears to be concealed within a, a chimney of some kind, so the fire itself is... Uh, is not visible. You can just make out what appear to be the bottom of a set of stairs leading up right there. Right. And opposite the archway, of course, uh, is a door. Is there still that noise of those voices? Continual whispering of words half formed. And as you come to the, uh, to the crossroads, Hagen, for the first time you hear it too. It appears to be a, a mixture of the human and elven tongues but never the words completely formed, a suggestion of a, of a phrase or a hint of a name, a middle syllable here and there, but something whole and entire, never do you hear it. Should we try that door? That's a good idea. This is the uh, flame, right? Mm -hmm. The whispering noise, yeah. Uh, Chance will try and talk to it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why do you always try to converse with these things? It can talk. Eyes, flames, just because it can talk doesn't mean you should talk to it. That's a good point. I would like to try <laughs> and. <laughs> And Aww. cast Charm Person on the flames. I don't think that's a person. I'm just going to stand back. They said there's a man underneath. There, there, there's a god. There's a god underneath. I can. You think you're going to charm a god? No, but I think he wants to talk to us, and I think he'll let it happen if I try. You're the sorcerer, not me. Squee said it was a good idea, so... Squee is wise. Talking to gods. I thought he talking to gods was the domain of clerics. I looked at a frog and the frog was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he believes in me. Well, congratulations on him, by the way. He has your eyes. <laughs> Chanta looks really happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how about this door? Uh, Shant, are you casting Charm Person on the fire? I am trying. Okay, so you'll need to be able to see it to be able to target it. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, is there like... Like a... As you, can see, as, you can, as you can see from the map, um, you're standing here. Okay. Right? And you can see the light emerging from here. It's kind of... Okay. Sp spilling out in this direction. Hitting off the yeah. wall. So whatever it is, it's probably in here somewhere. I'll I'll go over there. The the column of green fire that the Yeah. Yes. What could possibly that's, go wrong? That, that's yeah, exactly. Not, not a good idea, exactly. Chanta. Chanta, let's just stick together. Okay. I just think I, I, I know it's tempting, but right now we can't take any risks like this. It's it's just we have, he... we ha I know I understand, but we need to we need to focus on getting the eye. Okay. Otherwise, the ghost elves might get overrun by Mordath, and then what? Then what? You know, and then we're, all of this is for nothing. We'll come back for him, though, right? For Absolutely. Who? The god. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. sure. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why, why do you want to come back for the god? Because he wants. He's trying to communicate with us, and he can't. You know what this god is, don't you? The one that's already betrayed you once. Is it? It's not. Is it? It's these, not are the... not, these are not nice gods that this temple was built for. Yeah, remember remember all the imagery we saw when we oh, came yeah, in? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, uh, no good. <laughs> Why do you think someone would build a pyramid on some god's head? 
if he was nice. I don't know. I just thought he maybe had friends and he'd hung pictures up of them and or you something. That, that his, his, his green breath is said to kill people, right? Sorry, I, 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 I thought maybe he had pictures of his friends, not it was him. Oh, yes, the friends that he committed mass homicide the against. friends, and that makes me even more worried. Like that. The door. All right, let's focus on the door. Okay. Chance will kick the dirt on the floor if there's any. <laughs> Stupid door. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's opening it? Not me. I, 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 do I, I, need I, look, I look expectantly at Hagen. <laughs> yeah, we all Hagen. turn and look at Hagen. <laughs> Hagen just goes. <sighs> <laughs> and starts checking it for traps. No, you're a good shit. man. Good I'm man. I'm happy to smash it open. Uh, Hagen, you don't well, find any. Chanter, a you don't find any traps on the door, and you're not. You don't even think it's locked, actually. Mm. Then I'll push it open. Okay. Just nods aggressively at Apple. <laughs> I, I'm sorry to be doing this to you, Hagen. I, you know, I'd be more welcoming and, and let you have a breather, but, you know, we're kind of pressed for time, so. It's my pleasure, my lord. <laughs> the door f flies open, bounces off the side wall, and after a, uh, a very short access hallway, you see a small square chamber. You're not sure what it was, when the temple was in use but now it's a grave there are the bodies three of them of what appear to be priests you recognize them from the robes although they're tattered the jade masks are not present they're lying on the floor in what would appear to be the uh, after throes of a painful death their skin is grey and taut Eye sockets hollow, hair matted, fingernails long in death. One of them is lying sprawled, his arm kind of outflung toward the far wall. Another sits slumped against the, uh, the wall just inside the door. The third is curled up in a little ball in one corner. Do I think it could have been the undead creature that we killed? Sure, okay. <laughs> that, did, that did this to them. See, Chanta, this is what happens Can when you talk to the green flame. Maybe they didn't talk to the green flame, and that's why it happened. Can I do a medical check on them? <laughs> well, uh, they're very dead. Um, they seem to be suffering from a severe case of death. Yeah, and they've been... point, Dr. Aldrich. <laughs> yes. They've been dead some time, so it's hard for you to tell what, uh, what killed them. But... If you had to pick something, the expression on what remains of their features looks like terror. Um, Lovely. Are they petrified? I, can, I, can I use my religious knowledge and my knowledge of death to kind of uh, make a more, uh, more careful assumption on what their uh, demise was, what most likely was? You think probably some potent form of magical fear. Yeah. They quite literally died of fright. Okay. Well... I is there anything other, other than the bodies that is noteworthy? Any murals or, or furniture or coffins? No, not, or, not that you see, no. It's a completely empty room. Yeah. Anything on the bodies? Um, no. Uh, like I say, the, the tattered green robes, some small personal effects, a comb, an old set does of it, dice. So, does uh, it look... Or religious sorry. trinkets, that's all. Does it look like anybody's been through here anytime soon? Seen recently, I mean. Not from what you can tell. No dust on the floor that's been disturbed. No, anything. but then that's not your area of expertise, really, so. All right. I'll look for any sort of secret doors. Interesting. Can I ever look in to see if I know of anything like that related to this demon thing? The one on the floor, with his arm kind of outstretched toward the wall, appears to have been trying to reach it. Jadarian, you do indeed locate what appears to be a hidden uh -huh. portal on the far wall. So, Hagen, 
I'll start feeling round for the gaps for where the button may be. Or... Hmm. I'll join him. Okay. You spend a few moments searching and eventually find a small lever up by the door's lintel, which you think, when depressed, will cause it to open. Let's try it. Yeah, might as well. I'll push it. Okay. All right, there's a uh, small stabbing sensation in your finger. Lovely. It's just uh, Hagen. Yeah. You say versus poison, please. <gasps> You've been poisoned! Crap. That is a 17. All right, so that's a save. Nice. Nice, you pull your finger back just in time. What's wrong? There's some sort of pen back. Are you okay? Good? I think so. I need to I'll Looking at your finger, you, you don't see any, any blood. So... so I'll check his finger as well. Do, do I see even the slightest bit of poison that obviously didn't penetrate the skin? So You don't think uh, either the needle didn't go in far enough or whatever was within it had long since dried up. He's, no, he's shown no sign of poisoning. Keep a very close eye on him. I want to say I smell his finger, but that just sounds wrong. <laughs> the poison. I wanted to see what poison it would have been. If I can, I'm going to um, pull out like a sheet. Did I finish pushing the... Button? Yeah, the door now slowly okay. swings open while you guys are discussing this. And uh, I uh, stick the point of my run, sir, which has the light on it, uh, yeah. into, the, into the gap. Okay. It's a short corridor that ends in a uh, admittedly somewhat suspicious stone wall. <laughs> no secret doors in there, guys. Let's go try somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> a waste of time. <laughs> I uh, yeah. I look for anything unusual in there other than stonework, I guess. Dust and cobwebs, Aldrich. That's all you see. I will check. What do your elven eyes see? What do your elven eyes see? Your elven eyes see another secret door. <gasps> um, I looked at Hagen, <laughs> looking guilty. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I've accepted my lot in life by now. Maybe we should be ready with a with a. It's only because you're so good at it. Kind. Does anybody have anything to to help him in case he does get poisoned? I have perfume. That would help. I said that that, that would make help. all the that difference. Would, would would cure light wounds? <laughs> uh, change could, the effect of poison. I can slow the. It, de it depends on the poison as well. I can slow what? the poison. I can cure the poison. Oh. Well then, why don't we all just pray? Yeah, I can sing you a song. Please don't. And then he continues. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, you're fairly certain this one isn't trapped, Hagen. The catch is similar to the other one. Maybe use your dagger. Yes. I w yeah, that's exactly what I was uh, <laughs> going to do before. Um, I'll take out my sheath dagger and grabbing it by the sheath, push the uh, button with the hilt. Okay. An entire block of stone do we immediately see sunlight? You do indeed see the outer air and the wash of a warm desert evening floods in. It's a, a secret back entrance. door to the pyramid. Ah. What you're is about, our way out? You're about, you're about 10 to 15 feet above the ground with a slope kind of... I down. guess that's an easy exit. Oh, this is not the one that we know of the other exit, then. No, this is this is one floor up oh, and nice. on the other side. Okay. It's the back porch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I, have, I, ask, the ask, I ask uh, Hagen to have a look on where maybe the on the outside the the the, the just make sure all the latch or the handle is. Yeah, it doesn't take you long to look at it, Hagen. Hmm. It's so, well hidden beneath a crack in the stone, but when you know what you're looking for, it's uh, not hard to find. Okay, I, I, I tell I tell Eldrick, Eldrick, maybe chalk that little bit there. 
so it's also um, easier to find for us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I make it mark. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. So. Right. Um, let's uh, head back to the room twenty and then look at the southern door. Oh yeah. 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 Is my strength still running, or is that dissipated I've again? Got, I've got okay. Rounds. Okay. Yeah, it's long stopped. Okay. It takes uh, every every incidence of searching for a secret door or for traps takes five to ten rounds anyway. So. Right. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, so the door to the south, again, is a uh, simple stone affair. Doesn't appear locked, and Hagen, you find no traps on it. All right, then I'll open it. Okay. Uh, reveals a smaller, empty inner vestibule. This room is completely empty. Hmm. Just dust, no sign of any footprints. The whispers oh, of it? the the whispers of the uh, of the Viridian flame are now almost entirely inaudible. Hmm. Um, I, I take the time to fire. observe uh, properly in this room. There's nothing hidden or anything that we're overlooking. No. What did you see? Can I um, just quickly ask my toad? Uh, were there any special abilities? I think you mentioned something about perception. Yeah. Um, so particularly when it relates to being able to see things coming up behind you, uh, makes you harder to surprise. Uh, okay. And have a, a general better all-around scope of vision. Okay. I'm just going to have him kind of his head popping out of the box. The box. Just okay. keeping it, like telling him to keep just an eye out on anything that's going on. That seems regular. <laughs> Stop! You're going to make my dog cry. I can just see his ears in the bottom of the organ. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's been crying this whole time. Oh, oh, oh. I'm um I step into the room and just just look around. Obviously secret doors, <laughs> just search in general. No, there's nothing. It literally is a an empty inner hallway. Now let's move on to the next room. Is there anything remarkable about the architecture of the place? Maybe the ceilings, the murals, anything like that? No, there's, there, there's, it's remarkable. They're remarkable by their complete absence. Solid right. cyclopean stone blocks fitted smoothly together, right. sand sifted through them, piled in the corner, occasional cobwebs of small spiders, right. the very okay. uh, image of a, of a disused chamber. Okay. Okay, the, uh, the door to the south, Hagen, you again find no traps. Put it open. All right. Oh. The, la sure. <laughs> the, the last of these uh, of these western chambers. It's clear what uh, what this was. Some kind of vestry. Um, five sets of robes and masks. The same or? Uh, yeah, the same kind of design. S slightly finer craftsmanship on the masks. The robes trimmed. The green of the robes trimmed with little hems of gold. The mask and robes together, you think, a couple of hundred gold each. So, you know, if you wanted to to take it for loot, there's a, it's about a thousand gold pieces worth of uh, oh, yes. temple, temple vestments here. Ka-ching! Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're gonna retire. <laughs> As we're, um, so there is a slight difference in the masks, right? There are, yeah. yeah. Um, Chance is gonna have hers kind of handy, maybe like strapped to the, the bag or something, just so just in case that the original mask doesn't work anymore. Might need him for the next level, sort of thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sheila, like, um, I think, uh, I mean, these ones are only slightly different. I don't think it'll make a difference, but it might be a good idea just to have it handy, just in case. Good idea. Good idea, yeah. Yes. yeah. I'll take it, we all take one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So there are five sure. sets here. So you've all got uh, a, a, a level two mask. <laughs> I mean, good, good, I actually... Good, good. I'm wearing a helmet, so wearing okay. wearing a mask is kind All of right. difficult. Fair enough. Right. Could Hagen just go ahead and pull a whole quick change with the whole uh, outfit? Might as well. Yeah, for sure. And with his disguise, skill, he can probably do that really quickly as well. Yeah. It's like oh. showbiz, showbiz level quick change. Just like a 360 spin. <laughs> uh, if oh. you can't No, he's wear not any... Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you can't wear a mask, Aldrich, you'll uh, put the mask on top of your helmet. So, like, to make it look like you're wearing it. Even harder okay. to see. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Oh, oh, you mean the physical mask or like a, an enchantment? No, like, a, uh, in, like the... It's a, it's a cantrip. Cantrip. Oh, okay, in that case, fine. Because if you put the physical mask on, it's like, I can only see, like... We'll lead you by the <laughs> hand, don't worry. I volunteer... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and from the uh, from the hallway, uh, you can see that it leads back into the uh, the main central chamber, and once again there are pulses of green light coming from uh, this kind of central column here. Yeah. What's to the left, like the northwest? Uh, you're going to head out into the chamber to have a good look around. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. We gotta no, go. No, I, 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 I hope back then. <laughs> the other way around. Back across the. Should, the, the should, should we? Should somebody peek around the corner to see what's in the in the bit? Okay, Hagen hey, peeks around the corner. <laughs> All right, super brave. Roll one d hundred psychic damage. I've still got that peeper. So. <laughs> okay, that's a stairway that leads up to an upper level. Okay. Uh, we need to go up, right? Hagen, roll me a d20, please. Oh, God. I'm thinking if, if that Hagen goes up, me? does the other one go down? 11. 11. 11. 11. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you spot like... a, sh a shadow moving across the north as if, uh, as if something has kind of stepped between here and the light, and you see a shadow kind of cast on this wall, like a humanoid figure moving. Kind of holds his arm out to hold everyone back as he uh, tends to watches. Um, okay, whatever it is, it doesn't it doesn't come into view. It's just moving across the uh, the mouth those, of the opening where the flame is. Are those circles turn columns? Off? They're columns. Yes. Uh -huh. Do we turn off the Aldrich magic rancor light thingy? Oh, okay. We're not alone here. I'm not yeah. well, in this chamber, I can see I can see without the light of the thing anyway, because there's yeah, green light everywhere. Yeah. Pinchy, I told you to tell me if you saw anything. <laughs> can you please quiet the frog? She'll just look at the frog and she'll be like... Frog uh, <laughs> rolls its eyes, which is, which is pretty impressive when you're a frog. <laughs> 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 just both look, look at each other like... <laughs> did, the did the frog just give Hagen shade? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get him some like glasses that like. <laughs> Pardon me for interrupting your conversation. I'm sure it's very important, but I just saw someone or something move up there. Let's take a look. Should I follow it? Yeah, I'll, I'll sneak out with him. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm gonna sneak. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that's for Jadarian. That's for Hagen. Oh, right. Okay, and uh, which direction are you going? Just ping it on the map for me. Which way are you going? Um, I'll go to. I'm, I'm trying to do it on I mean, OBS. <laughs> and, uh, you, I'll go to here. Was it, yep. was it obvious to me which direction the shadow was moving? Uh, it was moving away from you along the north. <laughs> Okay, then I'll be going north. Okay. All right, so the uh, the pair of you creep northward along the stairwell. Well, you, I think uh, I'm going here to look around this way. And I think okay. Hagen's going to here. Yep. Maybe. Well, I might as well reveal. Yeah. The, uh, going from yeah. pillar to pillar. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can see a... Uh, the central area is a large stone chimney with stairs leading down to where the Viridian flame rises from the lower level and up through an opening to the level above. Even setting eyes upon it, you feel it within you. You feel it rustling through your mind, 
shimmering its power into your soul. Judarian. It is a malison of considerable intent that infests you. You can feel the light of the flame weakening your limbs, dulling your sight. A latitude starts to overcome you. No, it's something else. It is the breath of a god. Mechanically, just so you know about it, while in the pyramid, you're a minus one to hit from now on. Okay. Hagen, similarly, the light washes over you and you feel that same ethereal sense of disapproval, a waft of divine energy that drapes about you. It's painful. It's an acidic bite on the air. As if the heart of a tempest had breathed its hatred over you. For you, there's no penalties to your attacks, but um, you do suffer four points of damage as your skin blisters under the acidic breath of the god. And they got this just from walking into the main chamber or into the chimney? From ha- from having the light of the Viridian flame fall upon them. Oh. Oh, damn. And that's not all. Nevertheless, you are well hidden. Jadarian in the north. Hagen, sorry, uh, Hagen observing the north, Jadarian to the south. You realize that you are indeed not alone. There's not one of them. There are two of them. Oh, one, wow. one standing to the north of the flame. Oh, come on. One standing to the south, moving back and forward as if listening to its voice. Every now and then they turn their heads toward the fire and hiss their own answers. Ancient dead things dripping with temple finery. However, I rolled under 20% for both of you on your stealth rolls. So they haven't seen you. Nice. Uh, to backstab or not to backstab? <laughs> <laughs> Always backstab. Yeah. <laughs> I would. Don't let me, don't let me influence you there. Right, let's just make this clear. You took the silver I'm dagger, well. I took the silver short sword. Is that right? Is that right? I thought I took the short sword. Well, did you take the short sword and I took the dagger? Yeah, he said short sword. Uh, right. you've got the okay, so I've got a yeah, silver dagger. I'm pretty sure yeah. I do. Do it, pussy. I mean, <laughs> if, if, well, if I failed, then I'm, there was no backup. All right, Can you I know just... what? Sure. All right, I got the loss. What, Jay Derry, what, what Lee just said, Ben, I'm imagining that my frog said that to me telephonically. <laughs> <laughs> Are we um, actually seeing any of this, or are they also hidden to us? You, you can't see them at all. They're just literally kind of like... Did we hear Jadarian <laughs> say, do it, pussy? No, I did not. I, I knock an, a magical arrow. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I'm going to come up behind and go for the back step. Okay. Right. Uh, your friend here is... I'm it's going to go well. <laughs> it's going to go so well. Your friend here is I'm a class 17. <laughs> okay. Do it. Back, backstab adds what kind of bonus again? Four. Four plus four, okay. Uh, 14 plus four is 18. All right. Nice. Okay. Um, you step out from uh, behind him and sink your blade <laughs> up into his back. Um, don't bother rolling for damage. No. As you pull the blade out, there's desiccated organs. It's like desert sand pouring out the hole in the thing's back. You. It turns to face you. And as its eyes sink into yours, you feel a deep supernatural terror oh, no. settle into your heart. Oh. Roll a seven throw against spells, please. Oh, feast. <sighs> that is an 11. Yes. Okay, you can boost it to a 12, just because there is a small bonus. Okay. 
Uh, that is nevertheless... Oh, that's a pass for you. Oh, that's a pass. You're level five, aren't you? So that's a pass by one oh, point. Yes, I am. Okay. Oh. okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> the horrendous fear washes over you, and you manage to stand your ground. Do we feel uh, uh, the, 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 the edges of this fear you so over us? No. Um, you see this happen, though. You see Hagen step out from behind the pillar, stab the thing solidly. It turns around, and a fell light washes over Hagen's face. You, I literally see him summon up his courage and, uh, and hold I, his position. I make the connection to the dead priests in the, in the, in the thing, right? Yeah, good job. Okay, um, anyone who wants to act can uh, give me an initiative roll, please. Did he do yes, any damage? Five plus two, seven. I don't believe it did. I don't believe I did. Because you didn't have to roll anything. I didn't have to roll anything. Uh, that seven, was a four for That me. is a four from Can Shanta. I? Anyone who wants oh, to wait. act? Eldrick, anything for you? Six, a six for me. Six um, from I got Hagen, eight. eight. Seven uh, for me. Two, and then a seven from Jadarian. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Hagen, you're actually up first. Uh, Jadarian and Bellis, you're up next. Did he do any damage at all? You weren't able to see, so you can't tell. Okay. Did I do any damage? At all? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so. That's kind of what looks to be um, dried liver, um, right? Uh, kind of oozing out the thing, uh, out the thing's back. I don't think anyone's ever given me anything like holy water or anything like that, have they? I? No. If, it were, if it's on your sheet, then you've got it. If it, if it isn't, you don't. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna run for it. You're gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, what else am I going to do? Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, well, the thing gets a free slap against you as uh, as you flee. Go for it. 19. Ooh. Double. Ooh, ouch. Oof. And that's six damage. Puts you on 21. 21 better than dead. And what is worse, where well, the thing's hand has touched you. Oh, no. You feel something in your flesh, in your bone, a slow, rotting ache, settle and take hold. Oh, no. Ew. no. Don't say it. Don't say it, Arnout. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, Hagen, you flee, stumble as it hits you, catch your, your footing, and go running back toward your companions. Uh, at the same time, Jadarian. I... You hear from the other side of the chamber this undead thing's voice rise in a sibilant... So sad. What? You cut out. <laughs> you cut out. It made it more effective, I must say. <laughs> incoherent <laughs> in, incoherent hissing. Yes. Yeah, Sounds about right. I move back to the group and... Obviously, I had an arrow knocked, so I fire that and fire twice after that. Okay, uh, so you're you're firing twice at the one that's near you, and then moving back to the group. Yeah, and I've well, fired three times. I had one knocked. Okay, so take okay, take your shot first. What, the one or the two? The one. The one. one. The one is an eighteen on a dice, so that'd be a seventeen plus eleven. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so that would have been a hit. hit. And I'm guessing there's a magical... Oh, minimum damage. Dick. So... <laughs> the die is a dick. Only seven, <laughs> only seven magical damage if it does anything. Seven magical. Okay, um, the arrow hits it and punches into the thing's uh, chest. It reacts as if injured and turns its hellish gaze towards you. Um, can you roll me a saving throw against spells, please? Can I, at, at, at this point, I'm, I'm the same turn, right? Yeah, you are. Because right. I would like to do a, 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 a remove fear on uh, on two people. Okay, hold on. I rolled a ten. Is it insight? That, that, that gives him a, a bonus. On hold on, point. hold on, hold on, please, Carl. Yeah. Uh, no, it's will. It's will. Uh, 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 uh. A ten. No, that's a. F it's a foul. That's then. a fail. Yeah. Okay. Um, you need to be able to see Jadarian ah. uh, to cast a spell on him. You can't see him. Ah. Um, Jadarian, fear washes over you. Your limbs become like water. Your courage evaporates. And the long life of elfenkind you see evanescing away to nothing 
but it's very imminent death. I'll take it I run then. No, you don't. You are quite literally frozen to the spot in terror as the undead thing closes in upon you. Okay, at the same time, Bellis. Um, I do a remove fear on uh, uh, Eldrick and on me. Gives us okay. a plus four for a turn. To, to All right, to the, to, to the saves. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Uh, okay. Um, the thing shambles towards you. Judarian. Eight plus six is 14. Whew. Okay, were it not for the fact that you were com standing completely immobile, its blow would miss. It swings wildly at you. You want to dodge, you want to move, but your body refuses. And you take 11 damage. Oh dear. Bye guys. Ouch. Don't get to, I don't get to use my d12 very often. And uh, the same as with Hagen. You feel corruption from the thing's flesh settle into your flesh and bones. As some rotting affliction takes seat within your body. Okay. Um, Hagen, you're running. Uh, the creature comes shambling after you. And now the rest of you get your first sight of it. So uh, you can see it there on, uh, on roll 20. Um, Hits armor class 19. This is attacking Hagen? Yeah. Hagen, you take eight damage. Damn. Thing comes lumbering up behind you. Wham! Hits you so hard, you come off your feet. You're sprawling onto the uh, the, the chamber floor. Pull yourself upright. Um, sorely injured. Okay. Yeah, what, 13 now? Uh, yeah, 13. Aldric, you're next. Yes. Uh, Shanta, you're after that. Okay. Uh, I saw Hagen trying to attack it with a regular weapon and it had no effect, right? Yeah. No, he did okay. it with a silver short sword. Yeah. Yeah. The silver short sword had no effect. No yeah. effect. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> um, Screw it! I'm going to try and attack it with the with the ranceur, but m mostly I'm going to try and uh, use combat maneuvers to trip it. Yeah, keep it okay. Yeah. Yeah. Smart man. Well, you come. Okay, give me a roll for give okay. me a CMB a CMB check, please. That is a uh, modified. CMB, CMB is twenty. Yeah, it's a, it's a modified twenty four. Perfect. Okay, you step forward, swing the uh, the ranceur's half down, up and under the, the back of its calf, and the thing uh, hits the floor in. Uh, it looks like slow motion actually, but it uh, hits it anyway. Um. Anything else? Yes, I'm going to take my shield and slam it f on with the broadside over its face. Okay. <laughs> this is Talgar Valandor's shield, right? Yes. Okay. Just, right. to, just like, with, just to cover his eyes so he can't look at me. Okay, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> but I'm gonna, but I'm gonna just. Uh, that's a modified. Uh, that's a 19 plus nine. So, sorry, I can't think. It's 28. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fine. You can roll me uh, D3 plus one plus your strength for damage. Uh, it's a magic so shield. that's that's a. Three plus six plus one, so seven. That's so a ten. Okay, and this is the one that uh, ten. Okay, so okay. Um, the shield slams down against it with a solid, meaty, satisfying crunch. A blow like that should have shattered its skull. It, you can see from the way the thing's moving that it hasn't. Uh, no. Even despite its enchantment, the shield isn't doing the kind of damage you think it would. But it's doing some. Shanta, I value your next. Uh, the one that isn't on the floor, I would like to try and cast blindness on the other one, if I can. Okay, so uh, you'll need to get out to, into the chamber to be uh, within sight of it. It's uh, up busy um, tackling Jadarian, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, if I can as well, equip the new mask, see if that does anything. Okay. 
These things seem un unconcerned by uh, by the masks. They have a fiendish intelligence. Uh, okay. Um, as soon as you step out of the chamber, the light of the Viridian flame washes over you. The hissing energies fill you with approval. The demon god, the buried form, the ancient beast, whatever the truth of this thing is, it breathes resilience to you. And uh, you actually gain six hit points over your maximum, putting you up to 22. What? Yeah. Uh, you can That's then unleash. <laughs> it, it literally is random. It's a little table. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, okay, so you want to unleash your blindness spell against the uh, against the undead creature? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Feels bad about it. She like can't like. She's just kind of like mm. confused while doing it. <laughs> I feel uh, like a proud parent has just like said well done and then I've just like kicked them in the <laughs> shins. <laughs> okay, uh, Jadarian, you see the strange light in the creature's eyes dims as uh, Shanta's blindness spell takes effect, clouding its sight. It can no longer see you to hit you. It uh, suffers a, a fairly heavy penalty as the thing spins from where it was standing and comes blindly lumbering toward where you are, Shanta. Avil. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You got a plus four on that, that guy, by the way. Yeah. A plus four to hit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to take out Silver Fire and I'm just going to try and cut <laughs> its lumbering hands off away okay. from Shanta. The one that Shanta blinded. Yes. And that is a uh, 20 modified. Nice, that's a hit. Um, okay, what's the damage? D8. Where's my D8? Oh, there it is. Um, it's three damaged, but you know, at least I hit. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, Silverfire slices out strikes through the creature's midriff. The edges of the flame, edges of the uh, of the wound burn with a little white fire as normal, but it goes out extremely rapidly. Again, you're sure you've hurt it, but not as much as you would have thought you should have from a, from a solid blow like that. Okay, new round. Hagen, you're up. Uh, Bellis and Jadarin, you're next. What the hell am I gonna do but uh, just keep trying to get out of there? Okay, so uh, where to? You want me to bring the map back? Yeah, um, where was that back door? Or no, maybe that really empty chamber. I'm gonna see, uh, any place I can hide, really. Okay, you can find a, a secret, uh, a secure hiding place. So maybe back to one of the yeah, other side just... chambers. Okay. Yeah, uh, hide. Okay, um, Hagen vanishes from sight on the battlefield. Okay, Bellis and Jadarian. Am I still I'll, I'll drink your next. Okay, oh, sorry, yes, right, um, Jadarian, you're uh, still paralyzed for this round. Okay, I, uh, Bellis steps uh, in between the, the two uh, <clears throat> mummified creatures. Yeah. Uh, uh, grabs hold of her holy symbol, raises in the air, and with a a firm shout to the ghost mother produces forth an uh, energy burst. Oh! 11 is 4 is 15 plus 6 is 21. 21? Yes. Nice. Okay. I don't know that, what that means, but nice. <laughs> uh, against this, they have no resistance. Brilliant white light streaks out from Bellis in all directions. And where it strikes the creatures, their flesh ruptures and burns, and bilious smoke pours forth from their bodies. Um, nice. You've injured both of them extremely badly. The hissing rises from the Viridian flame. From now on, uh, Bellis. You're saving all your saving throws at plus one while you're in the pyramid. Oh. 
on top of the bonus you give yourself for fear as well. Okay. Nice. Uh, Jadarian, you are frozen with fear. Um, Aldric, you're acting at the same time as the two mummies, um, which are now turning their attention completely toward Bellis, hoping to snuff out this source of sacred light. Well, I'm sitting on one, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he tries to get free. Uh, it was a one, so he's just kind of like... <laughs> doesn't go anywhere from beneath your shield. Yeah. Uh, the other one, the blind one, comes uh, lumbering towards you, Bellis. Uh, no, just <laughs> swings wildly, <laughs> completely fails to make any contact. Okay, and uh, Aldric. Okay, uh, you mentioned that my armor is magical, right? Yeah, Shanty, you're next, by the way. Uh, so by 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 extension, the armor spikes on it should be too. Okay, I start kicking the living crap out of it with my armor spikes. <laughs> I think you're going to elbow drop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, max and, damage. And uh, uh, modified uh, 18. And so that's a d3, right? Yeah. That's the one, one of them hits for seven points of damage, and the other one hits for six points of damage. Okay. Uh, okay. You should have pummeled the thing into dust with this, uh, but the desiccated undead flesh is resisting even your magical attacks. However, you think uh, another couple of blows like that, and it's going to go down. Okay, and then I'm going to use all of my movements to just pin it down. So well, sitting, on top of, sit, sit, sitting on top of the shield if I have to. Okay, give me another CMB. <laughs> that One, two, three, ding, okay. ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, that's a modified uh, 17. 17? Yeah. Okay. The thing slides out from beneath your shield and pulls itself to its feet. Yeah. Shanta. <laughs> oh, ah, Aldric. Yes. Saving in spells, please. Uh, um, it, but I got four. the bonus. Plus four. Okay. What is my save? Oh. And it, uh, do I get a, one of the adjustments, or is it...? You get a plus four, for now. Okay. So that's a uh, horrible fail, because I just rolled a seven, and even with oh. the plus four, that's... Oh. But, but I'm lucky. I'm lucky. You are lucky, you are lucky. How lucky are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm lucky I'm lucky that I get to re-roll. How many times can you He's use so that? Lucky. In a once, day. A day. once a day. Oh. Once a day. Oh, you, you used it already, now you used it. <laughs> I did? You've yes. used it, yeah. Downstairs. Oh, oh last yeah. session. Damn against it. the ankh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank well, you, Lee. <laughs> you can be unparalleled. I like him. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am already. You are already. <laughs> uh, Aldrich freezes in place as the thing rises up. He's just kind of like, oh, as the the death fear overcomes him. Shanta. Seeing this, Shanta is gonna go behind this zombie mummy man. Uh, like uh, like a respectable maybe like 15 <laughs> um, and just kind of shout hey and then blind him as well okay hey hey you, hey, you. not Miles get away from my boyfriend why, why don't you pick on somebody your own size you big bully yeah <laughs> don't touch him <laughs> again the light in its eyes goes out Yes. as blindness overtakes it. Both of them now completely blind. All attacks against them are plus four. And uh, has he turned around to kind of come for me? He thinks he is, but he's actually kind of facing at the wall and snarling at a, at a piece of stone. As long as he's not going for Aldrich, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. And uh, finally, Avil. All attacks get a plus four, you say? Yeah. Well, can I spin the one around at the wall and, like, kick him in the dick? <laughs> If you really must. <laughs> With your magical well, sword, you mean? I really... Oh, yeah, like, I'll stab him, but, like, I'm also kicking him in the dick. You know, it's <laughs> like a... Uh, take that! So... And that is a... Four... Five... Twenty-two? Modified? Okay, is that for the sword or the dick kick? 
Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, that's for the sword. Okay. For the dick kick, I'll have um, a nat 20, thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, unfortunately, I the, even though you crit, um, the, uh, the cock what? shot does are no you damage. Telling, are you telling me? Are I'm your sorry. boots magical? I am sorry. Are you telling me? <laughs> I kicked him in the cock and it did nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it did nothing because he doesn't That's have bullshit. one. That's <laughs> bullshit! It, it, it hurt his feelings away. because you reminded him he doesn't <laughs> have one. It's, it's probably it's in a canopic jar somewhere, to be fair. Oh, okay. So Aldrich's fat magic, because then technically Aldrich is magic. Okay, well, that did a six damage on the six. sword and an eight damage on the <laughs> kick. <laughs> as, as Blink, Blink just said, but it's a mummy, not a daddy. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Uh, a uh, solid slash from Silverfire that should have finished the thing off fails to, but bit by bit by bit, the end is drawing near for this creature. Uh, that was. This oh one. my god. Okay. Right. Uh, it's a new round then. So uh, Hagen and uh, Judarian and Bellis, you're up next. Hagen, you're hiding, presumably. Are you staying hiding? Uh, no, now that it's been blinded and um, Aldrich has been, uh, I guess, terrified, I'm going to run out and try to, uh, I don't know, snap him out of it. <laughs> yeah. You're going to try and uh, pull Aldrich out of his, uh, his magical yeah, fear? Pull, uh, and, and preferably pull him into safety with me. Okay. He appears completely unresponsive. Uh, Lips trembling, tears welling in his eyes. Um, nevertheless, you grab him and pull him out of melee to safety. Judarian. He's, cry he's crying a very manly, in a manly way. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, comes out of his fear state, I take it, and fires an arrow or two arrows. Yeah. Yep. We'll Bellis, you're acting at the same time, but he's just a bit quicker. I've um, got plus four, so I've got, got plus three then. It's plus 14 to hit. What's, what's their armor class? 17. <laughs> plus <You> missed. <laughs> no. <laughs> I rolled a three, but plus 14. That just With hit. All the... <coughs> well done, Shanta. Yes, that's a hit. <clears throat> uh, oh, seven damage plus. Six, that's 20, uh, 13 damage. Right, okay. The one that's, uh, that has been uh, dogging you so long, the magical arrow shh, takes it in the forehead. And the other one? And it just boom, goes down. Well, the other one's a hit as well, and that was a nine on a dice, and that was one less damage, so 12. 12. <coughs> uh, okay, uh, the arrow has gone right through the roof of its mouth, out the back of its head. It's stumbling, flailing around, just moments away from death. Okay. Bellis. I move away Be from it. Bellis, Bellis takes uh, <coughs> out uh, a sling stone and does an orison stone on the sling stone and swings it around and <laughs> right between the eyes. Go on then. And she throws a 15. Nice, okay. Single hit point, no need to roll damage. Strikes the thing in the forehead. Its skull splits <laughs> neatly down the middle. Slumps to its nice. knees and then face down upon the ground. I immediately start looking for the the wounded and the afflicted. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> okay. Can I use my? Um, Let me give you guys a quick rundown here. Song of rest. Yes, you can. Aldrich, you're on thirty-two. Bellas on eighteen. Shanta's on twenty-two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Hagen on 13, Judarian on f -f -f 4, and Avel still on 23. Okay. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling better than I've ever <laughs> felt before in my life. Sean is wired. Invigorated. <laughs> I feel pumped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did it. Mm. <laughs> uh, was anybody in, uh, in range of my uh, energy burst? <clears throat> uh, that's an interesting point. Um, yes, so... Uh, Aldrich will have been, and Judarian will have been. 
Well, they both got 21 hit points. Really? Yeah. Yep. Are you serious? Uh, yep. I'll back up the well, I'm there. fully healed then. <laughs> I guess I don't need to use my song of rest and I slowly put my banjolele away. One I, um... single tear down my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to use any of my banjo songs. Can I do Aldrich. a medical assess I assessment? I have a haiku in everything. Say that again, please, Lee. I want to do a medical assessment if I've got a disease or anything as so I can treat diseases. You got cooties. <sighs> <laughs> Mermy cooties. Mermy cooties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Judarian, mm -hmm. you are fairly certain it's that there is that it is not only a, a disease affliction, but it's magical too. We did. Um, Oh, I, I have a look at uh, the afflicted and see whether I can uh, look in, in the uh, Hagen and Aldrich within, within the teachings of the ghost mother to see what it is yeah. and what will need to be look. done. Yeah. Okay. Wait, are me and Bellis the only ones who didn't touch one of them? Yeah. Oh no. Am I afflicted too? <laughs> no, uh, only um, Judarian and Hagen. Oh, oh Judarian. Wow. You, you only get it if you get hit by them. It's oh, not okay. If you touch them. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's not that contagious. <laughs> Toit. Just if you're in the same room and they breathe on you. <laughs> okay. Um, can you give me a a, a d20 roll, please, uh, Bellis? Uh, Fifteen. It's fi okay. Yeah, that's enough. You are fairly certain that it is indeed mummy rot. <laughs> And how do I treat mummy rot? Okay, um, it can only be cured by a cured disease spell. Mm -hmm. uh, standard curing magic will have no effect upon a person inflicted with it. And their wounds will only heal at 10% of normal rate. Uh, your positive energy burst is an exception to this. They heal properly on that one, but uh, the rest... That, that they will, yes. Okay, so there's nothing I can do with uh, for them. So we need to get... What, what, what will it do to them? What will it do to them? Right, um, well, yeah, but like how long do you have? It can be weeks. It can be months. Um, you've heard of people surviving up to six months, Bellis, but that's rare. Yeah. Uh, and it causes... Um, well, I mean, it causes rotting. So yeah. you can expect to lose charisma points. So bits fall off. Yes, basically. bits do fall off. Uh, yeah. Penile mummy rot. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Galloping penile okay. mummy rot. I, I think you literally <laughs> got cuties. <laughs> I don't have yeah. removed disease, do I? You really do have no, cuties. Third level spell. Your, your charisma's oh, lowering I, cuties. I don't have it in my list either. <laughs> no. Okay, so um, on that pleasant note, um, we're going to uh, take a break. Okay, um, we've had a minor technical difficulty during the break. Um, Grindy has demonstrated just how well Hagen can hide in shadows. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're going to um, proceed. Uh, and wait so, him to as soon back. as he's back in, we'll, we'll sort cameras out as soon as we're back in. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. <clears throat> so you have considered the ramifications of galloping penile mummy rot and now must face your next move in the Pyramid of the Viridian Flame. So, uh, at present, you are all, and where's the map? I guess somewhere around here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Deciding yeah. where to go next. There's no way to get to the other side without crossing the light, so I'd suggest we go back through the rooms. I mean... These, these mummies, did they carry anything on them? Okay. Um, one of them, the one that was in the south, had a pair of fine, dark leather gloves with brass buckles around. Um, mm. They don't appear to be part, have been part of the initial mummification process, and even if they were, have weathered the passage of time really rather well. Um, furthermore, uh, the various 
gems and accoutrements and what have you that they're wearing, you think are probably a couple of thousand gold pieces in value each. Oof. Oh, nice. They're coming along. Oh, yeah. I could have so many yeah. familiars. <laughs> All of the toads. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sad squeak, by the way. Oh, no! <laughs> that, was, that wasn't as chanted, that was me. <laughs> Fine. Uh, oh my god. Um, I think you, re- was- you, you guys recall where the, uh, the eye is supposed to be located, yeah? On the top, wasn't it? At the top, yeah. Yeah. So the stairs going up here. Yes. We should probably head up those, right? Should, should we not quickly check out the, the the other part of the corridor that we missed on the other side? We, of ca- the, we can, but then we have to avoid the light. Shall we we go back the way we came? I think the light's already done its damage on us. Yeah, on you, but not on everybody. So the ones that who who haven't been afflicted. I feel uh, like we can go around back to the rooms that we came and then across the corridor with the statues, and then. I think that. The rooms that we keep going in, they might have some information, but there's a lot of bad things here that could just keep attacking us. Why don't we just get the eye, like like, like you guys said about not doing it right now, just focus on the eye. Yeah, exactly. That's my plan. Okay. I think that would be the best mm. course of action, because like, like we, time is a factor here. It's not what we can't, we can't just Fair enough. peruse the entire place at our leisure, because the ghost well, elves are in danger. So, because um, there might be there might be nice things in there, but there might also be things that can g- give you curses and stuff. Right. And cooties. Yes. And and that. Uh, yes. Penal mummy rot. A vel. <laughs> A vel. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Um. <laughs> right. So, I suggest we go up those stairs. Ignore the extra camera coming back in. It's just so I can set it straight. So, names are going to be in the wrong place, guys. But just ignore it until uh, till Grandy comes back. We don't need to do a camera reset now. Oh uh, no! Well, it's not going to make a difference because I can't okay. turn the other one on. Yeah, no worries. Okay. So, what were you saying there, Arnaud? That we, I suggest we go up the stairs that are in the main chamber on the wall. These here? Yes, those. Okay. Yeah. And we avoid the direct light from the flame as much as we can. Okay. Does anyone have an umbrella? <laughs> what, is an, what is an umbrella? I make oh, an umbrella. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm breaking the fourth wall. Um, does anyone have... A parasol? A parasol. Yes. Can, I, can I see if I can change my... If I can try change with my quarter staff to have a, a... Like a kind of curved top to block out any light. Yeah, no, that's a bit beyond the reach of a cantrip. Can I just angle my hat down to not get it in my face? Yes. Uh, although, to be <laughs> fair, going up the, uh, the, the stairs here... You're not quite within the the reach of the of the light, if that's what you're concerned about. So you could go from down here to the stairs over here, and not risk the light of the Rudian flame falling on you. Okay. Right. Well, let's uh, let's make. That's what, make, you, that's make what a... you do. Sorry, I I didn't actually catch what you said. I just answered, and that's what you do. No, but before that. I'm just saying that you can reach the bottom of the stairs without the light of the flame falling. Yes, yes, yes. Then that's what we do. Sorry. All right. The stairs uh, lead up to a higher level. And I'll just reveal the map area for you for that. And then swing it onto your screen. Just a second. All right. There you go. We're, we're assuming that Hagen is coming with us. Yes, it would seem unfair otherwise. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave you here then. <laughs> yes. 
What? You can't yeah. move? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I'm just going to move the map briefly so I can just make sure where the, where the bottom of it actually is. Excuse me. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay. So that's actually off the bottom of the map there. Right. Just a second. Uh, oh, wow, this fog of war doesn't work at all how I wanted it to. <laughs> <laughs> it's immobile while the rest of the map is, uh, is moving. Okay, so anyway, you're here. Okay, can, can you see that, yeah? Mm -hmm. I can see stairs, yes. And coming it's, into room label 35. Yes, well, I, I can see half of the number. Yeah. Yes, but there yes, we go. Yes, yes, wow. there we go. Okay, take no fear, man. <laughs> we fear change. Nice one. Um, so you cautiously mount the stairs to the upper chamber. Can we assume that Hagen is checking for traps? Yeah. Oh, beautiful roll. Okay. So um, Hagen, scouting ahead of you, gets you to halt on the stairs. Okay. Oh, thanks, Hagen. Quiet, he says. <laughs> There are things in there. I can hear them moving. <clears throat> it's a pretty good impression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so there's things in there. Uh, I try and not make noise, which is not easy for me. <laughs> Clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> yes. I cast grease we... on him just to like grease him up. <laughs> Eldrick, shush. Why are we being so quiet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's a clattering noise from the top of the stairs. Be quiet. Hagen says. But in that moment, it's too late. This steps into. Hey, come back here. <laughs> this steps into view at the top of the stairs. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, it didn't. It ran away. Oh, no. It, is it fooled by our appearance? Okay. Its head creaks to one side and then the other. And then it steps back. Chanter's like, are you my mummy? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Undead, but mindless. It appears to be fooled by the jade masks and the flowing, if tattered, green robes that you're wearing. Oh, well. And from the creaking noise from behind it, you realize there are four more. Five of these undead guardians seated in the, standing in the chamber above. Okay. I walk into their into the chamber, see if they get out of the way. They turn to regard you and then turn away again, just acting on some mindless set of orders. Okay. Your temple accoutrements, for the time being at least, would appear to be sufficient to, uh, to protect you from their attention. <clears throat> cool. Uh, I will see if I can get my bearings and look around. Okay. So um, you can see a uh, passageway to the south, a doorway there, and also doors to the east and west. Appears to have been some kind of guard chamber, and these uh, undead guardians have been locked into their role beyond the veil of death. All right, camera check. Let's do cameras quickly. Okay. okay. Wow, sorry about that. That's right, mate. That no happens. problem. No, I didn't need to. Sorry. <laughs> Who's number two? Uh, it's, it's you, you Carl. Uh, sorry, sorry. And then me. 
Okay. <clears throat> Everything right where it belongs. <laughs> so, um, All right. Uh, Grendy, uh, the party has made its way up to the next level where Hagen, scouting ahead, discovered a room with five bony undead guardians in. And I'll just... Uh... He did an impression of you. It was really touching. <laughs> Sounded like guys. I'll make sure to look, make sure to look over it later. Yeah. Okay. All right, so five of these. Um, but they appear to have been deceived by the masks and robes that you're wearing. And uh, you guys are now just assessing what to make of the uh, of the guardroom in which you uh, which you now find yourselves. Those those uh, undead. I have a very good look at uh, at them. What kind of uh, undead we're talking about here? There are not normal skeletons. There is, as you kind of get get close enough to one, you can see it's like someone's inscribed little runes along their bones. Um, you recognize runes for evocation magic and apportation magic. Uh, okay. no good, no. I, I convey this to you. No. <laughs> let's, let's not provoke these. Yes. Teleporting laser skeletons. <laughs> okay. I don't want none of that, please. No. <laughs> I don't fucks with that. This isn't no. talk. <laughs> it can be. <laughs> Dad, stop. <laughs> right. Um, so, should we look at these doors? Is that a door? What's that line across the hallway to the south? Is that a step down or something? Or uh, Just a, um, a glitch on the map. Oh, a that glitch on the map. Okay, probably fair just... Uh, yeah. Okay, so it just it does just a straight hallway with a with a, yeah. with a door around the corner. Okay. Yeah. Should we try the one here on the curved wall on the uh, east side? Because the Viridian Flame will be to the east of the stairs. <clears throat> so presumably, if it's if it's yeah this, on the on the stairs high, itself, you can actually see that kind of that that thin wall. Uh, because we're literally walking next to the chimney, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Chim chimney, chim chimney. So you you want to go um, uh, to, to the left from the stairs, basically, uh, to the right from the stairs. Yes, as basically the east the east wall, the 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 upper Here. door on the east wall. Yes, right. this okay. this one. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm cool with that. I mean, we could start there, and if it doesn't pan out, we'd try the other ones. But... Hey, good. You have a look? <sighs> yes. One day he's going to say no. <laughs> then what will we do? Start, we... Char start charging. Um, <laughs> you go first. That's, that's, when, that's when I just start opening right. doors and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this one? Hagen, you are fairly certain that the door uh, to the east is not trapped. He opens it. Okay. By the way, I, I assume that Jade Aaron and I are still dying. Yeah. Yes. Over the course of several right. weeks to months, yes. Um, oh, good. A good choice because the uh, Chamber Beyond holds a stairwell spiraling upwards. There's another stone door opposite. Nice. From above, you can hear the whisper and see the flicker of the Viridian flame, the stairwell probably opens out into a chamber directly exposed to its light, judging from the light and sound coming from the top there. Is there anything we can do to create some kind of barrier? Uh, have a, 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 does anybody have a tent or a tarp or something that we can maybe stretch across? I've got some perfume. Grips blanket really. Is that tight. your answer to everything? <laughs> well, I have a mirror as well, and some That's Greek fire, and some rope, and some I wasn't oil. asking for a bloody inventory of your bag. Okay, okay I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, get off my dick! Ne All right. Ne next, you'll offer to play us music. What? Oh, you want me to? And he reaches for his banjolini. <laughs> he doesn't just do music. He does haikus. Yes. Yes. I do. Yes, I do. I have one. 
Bless you. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I don't have any any kind of bed rolls or tarps or anything like that. So maybe maybe we just have to risk it. I guess. Stop eyeing Chanta's blanket. That's rude. <laughs> it's mine. Oh gee, no, I, I wish want... we had you some will... sort of blanket contraption. If you're right paying about attention now. to her blanket, you will notice a little bit of the corner cut out, and that Mister uh, Squee Pinchy has a little bit of a cape coming on. <laughs> <laughs> he has a little bit of it. Just your purchase. It's it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna open that. I'm, I'm going to go through into the into the chamber with the stairwell because <laughs> yeah, this is okay. getting weird. <laughs> I'll follow through. <laughs> like... All right, <laughs> the Viridian light falls almost like water down the stairs, beckoning you into its embrace on the upper level. Is that the? There's no other. There, there's a door on the other side, but yes. there's no door on the northern wall. Correct. Okay. I'm going to check for secret doors. You find none. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, on the north, presumably, is the chimney, so... Mm. That would make sense. Yes. All right, I guess I'll climb the stairs, hold my shield up, uh, and try and block out as much of the light directly to my, line, to my eyes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And see... But maybe Hagen should go first, <laughs> just to check to see if there's any like scything, scything blades or. Anything. It's, interesting, it's an interesting phrase that you use there, Arnaud, because one comes out. Of, oh my goodness! Out of the third step up and takes you just above the knee for six damage. Oh, I... At which point it occurs to you that yeah, perhaps Hagen should go first. Aldrich staggers backward, clapping his hand to where blood is pouring out of a. Th Thick wound, like a someone's taken a <laughs> knife to a, a side of steak. Motherfucker! Ah, <laughs> God damn! You're right there, buddy. You're all right. You better steps up and. Um, uh, I want to check I, and make I, sure. I it's collapsed to my knee. <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure it wasn't poison. God, that hurts. Chanta like rushes forward to heal him and then sees Ballas and is like. Seven. <laughs> Look to Aldrich and say that's why we let Hagen go first. But as places our hand over the wound, Aldrich, and it um, seals I, and heals. I'm sorry, that was really stupid. I was just like, <sighs> yeah. I mean, you did this to yourself, my dude. <laughs> well, you uh, knew I, what I, was I, going I give, to happen. I, I give, I give Avil a friendly nudge. Bellis, Bellis looks yeah. a little. <laughs> <laughs> You should protect him. He's your lord. Uh, Hagen uh, pats Aldrich on the shoulder as he steps past him to take point. <laughs> We're all just like, it's okay, Aldrich. <laughs> happens to the best of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Hagen, examining the stairs, you can't... You notice on the third step, there's a big scything blade. Yes, I noticed that. <laughs> you saw it, yeah, you saw it come out, but you can't see where the trigger is to disarm it. I, um, I, oh, it's, uh... I, I don't really think it'll be too handy, I'm um, in here, but I have a bunch of rocks for my staff sling. Maybe if we throw it, it will trigger the thing? I think the thing is already triggered. And, and then, uh, by Aldrich's and knee. And then in the future... Thing. The blade oh, has right. kind of retracted back into the step and reset itself. It's certainly oh, lovely. Right? Like, but there's no way to disable it. Without being able to find the trigger, no. Can I help search for it? We'll just have to. We'll just have to go over it. Can we like piggyback over it? Is there any, is there any way it? we can all avoid that? That's. Yeah. Sure. Okay. You will take uh, precautions to uh, avoid one of the. Uh, it's presumably on somewhere on the first first three steps. Um, okay, um, I want you each to roll me a, a d6, please. Can I, can I ask something before we go up that stairs? Yes, go ahead, go ahead, please, Carl. Can we have a look around the room where there's something somewhere else in this room but, but what can actually uh, disarm this trap? Uh, I rolled a six. Four. Five. One. Five. 
This is a D what? D uh, six. Two. Okay, hold the one there. Okay. Um, oh no. That is your suggestion. Hagen can have another look around, but the trigger is particularly well hidden. Uh, kindly though, Shanta finds it for him as she accidentally steps on the uh, the middle step on the way up. Um, Shanta, you take a couple of points of damage as the blade <laughs> comes out and slashes you across your thigh. Um, but it comes from, take, your, from your from your spare hit points. So <laughs> taking, taking off the spare hit points that you. <laughs> I said we should have used a rock. Yeah. Are you all right? No. <laughs> <laughs> the mummy dust is wearing off. Are you dying? She looks at Bellis. Um, am I? Bellis, she looks fine. We all are there. We're all dying. <laughs> then, you're, then you're fine. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> you got, you gotta love that. Speak for yourself. Uh, just what? a face like, well, yeah. Well, you are. You get born and you die. What? Uh, not wants. the time for this conversation. Let us continue. <laughs> I'm gonna continue uh, checking for traps. Very. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're we're we're. Okay. <clears throat> suddenly feeling the weight of the universe on me. Yeah. Yes, I apologize <laughs> for, space wax, out. for for interrupting you as wax possible. <laughs> I like to imagine that. I uh, I go over to uh, to uh, Chanta and examine her wounds. And it's it's actually kind of hard to see the wound. Um, you're sure she took a fairly solid blow, but you're not seeing really where it, it could have been. It's as if a supernatural influence about her has taken the worst of the damage for her. I look a little bit puzzled at her and then shake my head and... You're fine. Pat her up. I think it almost took me leg off. I like to, I like to imagine <laughs> that. Off. I like to imagine... As, as we saw downstairs with the mummies, yeah, she's clearly made of sturdier material than you are, so... It's just a flesh wound. I like to imagine Squee just like raises like one of his like arms and just like sort of holds my hand like it's all right. <laughs> I mean, she blinded two mummies where you were shivering with your knees. I mean, yeah. Right? Aldrich, you're a bit of a pussy, aren't you? Mm. Are we having this conversation now? <laughs> Don't say that, Apple. Hey, really? This is the timing you choose? <laughs> It's like you blood emerge. still dripping. I mean, we're the, talking all about of you can I have a moment's quiet? I am trying to save our lives. If there are any traps here, I want to find them. And I need you emerge onto the upper level, Hagen, with your companions bickering away behind you. <laughs> I, I half Sorry, expected to just Hagen. hear a squeak as everyone else went quiet. <laughs> It's not the very light nice, of the, Squee. The light of the Viridian flame falls fully upon you, Hagen. But you have already endured its blessing, or in your case, its curse, and it has no further whispers for you. The chamber above is a morass of shifting shadows and interweaving fey luminescence. As you can see, there's another spiraling stairway, and the stairway, by the way, continues upward. Another one on the, uh, the far side of the chamber, and four heavy velvet drapes sealing off smaller rooms of the cardinal points. Tell me there are no more mummies. I will. There are no more mummies. Okay. Are you lying? There is, however, Insight check. <laughs> there is, however, an immense coalescing darkness. The shadows that are around the room at your arrival shift and change, moving to form a single coiling mass. of shadow what? given shape. The bloody hell. <clears throat> it's kind of cute though. I kind of want it. I kind of want to ride it. Hagen, you it. can roll me initiative. 
Damn it. Just being Avil, like, you know? It's like how to train your um, ghost beast. Five. Five. Okay, uh, Hagen, your reactions are keenly honed. And as this thing's strange, umbral head <sighs> spins in your direction, you. I uh, turn and yell for the others. Uh, <laughs> as I. Uh, actually, I'm going to retreat back um, and say, there's something at the top. Anyone with magical weapons or spells, I need you up here. Oh, shit, that's me! And then I run. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone else who wants to act? Give me initiative, please. Uh, yes. Do I have to give initiative again? Yeah. Aldric. Five. Seven. Seven. Avil, five. Anything from anyone else? Bellas? I, I got... I Eight got a two. From Beres, a two seven. from Shanta and a seven from Jadarian. Okay. Um, fine. Belis. Belis moves, uh, Belis moves uh, up the stairs. Okay. You see this immense serpentine shadowy form. Uh, what appears to be bones with umbral matter coalesced around it, I... rearing its head serpentine, ready to strike. Do I know what this is? You have no freaking idea. <laughs> um, I uh, immediately proceed to turn this creature. I hold up my okay. holy symbol and I invoke uh, the ghost mother's name. Yep. And bid it to either be gone or to cross over. Uh, there we go. And I roll a 15. Okay. Your words ring out strong and pure. The thing either doesn't care, doesn't hear, or isn't even undead. Ah. It does not react. Okay. Um, Aldric and Jadarian. Ah, um, Avril and Hagen, you're next, by the way. I'm going to... Uh, hold, uh, actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give Avil my shield. Okay. Anything else? Oh. You can use that together with your sword. Yes, that's I can. Uh, and then I uh, hold. <laughs> okay, uh, Jadarian. I'll stand ten feet behind Aldric <clears throat> and knock an arrow. Okay. The creature lashes out immediately toward the uh, most immediate target, which is the Moonwhite, who has put herself out in front in an attempt to turn the creature. A hit from its bite and both of its claws. Freezing shadow stuff washes over you. Five, <laughs> eleven, fourteen damage to Bellis. Oh my god. Bellis, you're on four hit points and you lose six points of strength. Uh, which I believe puts you on strength two. Oh my god. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not good. You are barely able to stand. You can actually see, it's like light comes out of Bellis with each blow into the shadowy creature. And its form becomes slightly more visible, slightly more tangible. The Moonlight staggers backward, grievously injured, weakened almost to unconsciousness. Hagen. Um. And Avril as well, actually. You said there are other chambers, right? Yeah, you can see them on the map. Uh, I'll bring the map back, actually. Okay. I doubt. I'm, I'm going to venture a guess and say that there's no way I can hurt this thing with a silver short sword. Uh... Oh, not the mummy. Just kidding. <gasps> just, I just, just done yeah, a little poke. Yeah, just like Remind <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> just a little one. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so you can see uh, to the north, south, east, and west, there are these four heavy velvet curtains hanging there. Okay. Um, let's see. If I if there's nothing I can do, I might as well go into one of the chambers and see if there's anything I can use. Anything okay. useful. Which one? Um, I'll pick, uh, let's say, uh, west. Okay. 
Um, you race across the chamber. Uh, as you run, the thing's neck whoosh, slashes out toward you. 15 armor class 21, that's a hit. You take seven damage from a brutal bite across your back and uh, lose two points of strength as well. Puts you on 10 strength and six hit points. You stumble through the curtain um, to see a small chamber that appears to be a storage room for temple accoutrements. You see sacred staves with holy symbols on the top, altar services, candelabra. I mean, it's worth 1,200 gold or more, but it appears to be largely decorative. Avil, meanwhile, what are you doing? Uh, I, um, well, I mean, I'm going to probably... I don't want to get near this thing because I don't want to lose any strength, but um, I guess I'm going to, like, kind of... If you don't want to do it, I will. I'll just stab at it with my sword, and then, like, after I've done that, I'll duck behind uh, Aldrich's shield. Stab with silver fire. You've got your shield. (laughs) Yeah, I do. Um, So that's... If you can use it or not. Um, 21. Okay, that's a hit. Sorry, it's, it's armor class 20. I forgot to mention that. Okay. <laughs> but it is just um, a hit. Yeah. And that is a nine damage. Okay. Um, silver fire slices through the shadow stuff of its body. Uh, it gives off a high-pitched fluting sound, almost like a songbird's whistle. High and ethereal. Um, and skitters back away from you, like a spider presented with a hot poker. Ooh. Because okay. I did a thing. And uh, Shanta. Can I... Um, oh, sorry, go on. I was just going to say, can I throw the sword to Chanta to see if she can use it as well? Uh, yes, that's both your move actions, but yes. Should I do that? She won't I'm be holding the action. I, you, you can throw it to me and I can I can attack Okay, I'll throw, I'll throw it to Aldrich. Okay, Shanta, what are you doing? Uh, I'd like to cast Mirror Image, please. Um, okay. And you'll just see, let me see how many there will be. There will be three me's uh, that just appear right in front of it, as far forward as I can get them to be, um, okay. as I kind of try and cower in a corner somewhere. There's a, whole, there... cor- a whole chorus of... <laughs> 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 Mr. Toadman. Okay, uh, new round. Bellis, do your we, do first. Do we not get our round? Uh, wait, I, 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 I was holding my action. You were holding your action, yeah. yeah Go ahead. Oh, um, no. I, Avel, Avel threw oh, the no. fire. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What? A, a uh, frozen. L- l- Les frozen. Okay, carry on, please. Okay. Um, the... Uh, the uh, with silver fire in hand, I'm going to uh, attack the creature. I, I guess I don't know how many attacks I'd get with this thing, but um, one, one. Well, I'll do it. Uh, that's a. I shouldn't get. The, that's a plus eight. So I get a twenty-five to hit. Yep. And what's the damage on this thing? D eight. That's. Uh, Plus four. Okay, so that's uh, eight damage. Okay, uh, another slash of silvery white light as a uh, silver fire takes its second solid blow against the creature. And Jaderin, you said you were holding as well, did you? Yes, I'm going to shoot a normal arrow first, just to test it. <clears throat> um, armor class. That's twenty. Probably, yeah, that's a miss. I'll fire another normal arrow. Oh, fuck's sake, that's a miss. Okay, right, new round. Um, I, had, can I, I had a knocked arrow, so... Yeah, but you need to do that at the beginning before initiative. That happens at the very start of the round, and if you don't take it at the start of the round, you don't. You can't save it. Uh, Bellis, uh, it's you now, Aldrich, and Jadarian, you're next. Um, I'm uh, within 20-foot radius, radius of Hagen, right? Uh, you, if you scurry over toward the um, curtain that he's hidden behind, yes, you will be. Um, okay. Uh, the, the creature, is he? Is, is that close towards where Hagen is? Uh, it's it's literally on the kind of 
seeming to have formed out of the shadows in the air. Uh, it's, a, it's a big thing, 30 or 40 feet long, so it's towering over the, over the chimney up through which the Viridian flame comes. So it can reach pretty much anywhere in the bottom half of the room it likes. Okay. Um, uh, I'm, um, I uh, make sure that I am in, in range of 20 foot of it, and then I will uh, cast another energy burst. Okay, but you're heading over to, to, to be near Hagen as well? Uh, no, because then I, I can't move out of the way after that, can I? Correct. No, I want to move okay, out of the so way after that. Energy burst. Yes. Five. 16. 19 points of damage. Uh, healing. And damage. Okay. So that heals you fully of your wounds. Hagen is out of range and the light just simply washes over the creature. It is not undead. It's not undead, okay. No. Undead. Uh, okay, right, uh, Aldric and Jadarian. Okay. Uh, um, Hagen and Apple, you're next. Uh, Jadarian should go first, he's faster than me. And I, I move then after that, uh, immediately out of, uh, back, backward, behind the okay. others. You're muted, Lee. That's because my kids here. Uh, double 16, but they're normal arrows, so... Um, it would have been a 10 and 11 damage if it hurts it. No, it's armor class 20, so those are both misses. No, it'll be 26, 26 then. Oh, okay, right. I, I rolled double 16. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, 11 and 10 damage if it hurts it. I don't know if it hurts it. They're normal arrows. Okay, uh, the arrows just simply pass through the shadow stuff from which it's made. Okay. The thing is completely immune to mortal weapons. <clears throat> okay. Okay, and okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, unlimber the silver hand axe from my belt. Yes. And fighting two-handed with bastard sword and the silver axe, I'm going to go in and uh, attack it twice. Go for it. So uh, the first attack is a... Uh, let me see, that's a modified 21. Yep. Uh, damage is... Uh, 12 and the hand axe is a modified 22 and uh wait what's the damage cut on that d6 and that's another six damage of silver if 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 it if it hurts okay. it. the silver doesn't do any uh, anything at all this thing okay. is pure magical energy and requires magical attacks to uh, to actually damage it Okay. Nevertheless, okay. you can see that the repeated strikes from Silverfire are starting to dissipate the shadow stuff from which it's made. You are absolutely hurting it. Okay, my move action is going to be to um, do a strategic retreat to behind the illusory Shantas. Okay. Uh, okay, and uh, Jadarian, you uh, shot with your... Normal I, arrows, you I said, I shot yeah? twice for normal arrows, yeah. Um, I'm going to move 30 foot as well. Doesn't matter okay. where we are in it, it can hit us anyway, can't it? Pretty much, yes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, as you move, uh, Judarian, it lashes out towards you. All th oh my goodness, all three blows hit. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage to Jadarian. Oh, and Jadarian, you similarly lose six points of strength, two from each strike. That puts you down to strength five. Um, you can no longer pull your bow. You've become that weak. Oh, really? Yep, you drop below nine strength. You simply don't have the strength to pull the damn thing. How badly hurt is this thing now? It's difficult to tell. It's kind of leaking, wispy blue smoke. Uh, the, the, the shadow stuff from which it's made is phasing in and out of view. Um, but you've only managed a couple of strikes against it with, uh, with, with Silverfire. Silver and uh, Jadarian shots have all been normal arrows so far. So, who, yeah. who has Silverfire now? Is it me or Aldrich? Aldrich has do. it at the moment. Oh, uh, crap. Okay. okay uh, Higgin and Avil. The thing is um, quite literally towering over, over Judarian, looking ready to finish him off. Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, well, 
I can't really do anything because I don't have. <clears throat> I, I sword. can I can hold out the sword for her, for him. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Go for okay. it. Okay. Is, is that my action uh, we, for the round though? No, you, you 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 can run up past him and grab it as part of your move action and then use it. Okay, I'm gonna do that and then use it against the thing. This tag teaming um, thing is working quite well, so let's Going let's keep well. that up. <laughs> Allendor boys, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's a twenty-five. That's a hit. And it is uh, six damage. Six. Okay. <clears throat> all right. The injuries are now starting to show great gouts of pale blue fire <coughs> erupting out of its body as the energies holding it together slowly start to come undone. Anything from Hagen? So now that I'm uh, out of its sight behind these drapes, is there any way for me to actually like, sneak <gasps> around the room without it seeing me? Say that again, please. Is there any way for me to sneak around the room without it seeing me? Yes, there's a whole shimmering wave of shadows all about the chamber, so you could totally move without it seeing you, yes. Uh, pardon me wishes that I had gotten the swords right. Anyway, but um, uh, do you want to take it from me? I can't then... do that without being noticed. I'm sure. Oh, exactly. Yeah. I am going to try and go to a different room and see if there's anything there. But it's going to be the south room. The south room. Okay. Yeah. Uh... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you seemed excited about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little because... sadistic smile. Unleash monster number 27. <laughs> it's another uh, reliquary, valuable temple goods, a fair bit of money, but your elven sight picks up the telltale sign of a secret door <laughs> on the western wall of the southern chamber. Do I go for it now or wait until later? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. it. I mean, we're fine over here, you know. It's okay. No big... <laughs> no, no way I can help you. <laughs> That's true. The door swings open, revealing what is clearly an inner treasure chamber. Ooh. Now I just gotta to live to use it. Ooh. You see what right. appear to be <laughs> potion bottles, neatly set and only the thinnest layer of dust over it. Open some kind of immense holy book. And resting across the open pages, a curved dagger that even from this distance, you can see is gleaming with a pale blue light. Right, I, I'm taking the dagger. Magic dagger, magic dagger! <laughs> no, I'm going back out there as soon as I have the dagger. Okay. <laughs> And, and deep inside, I'm saying, please be a cookery. Please be a cookery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and finally, Shanta. I want to try and class sleep on it. Did you bring enough to share with the class? I did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I would like to class sleep on it, please. All right. The we'll sleep try spell to. washes out over the thing. It has no effect whatsoever. The simple potency of its spirit is far too strong to succumb to the spirit energy. In other words, it has too many damn hit dice. Damn it. Um, I don't know if I'm able to control my mirror image people, but I'm going to make them just... They follow you anyway. They do random things. One's kind of untying its shoelaces, another's um, doing its hair. Uh, the other one is busy petting the uh, imaginary frog that it's carrying. Okay, Bellis, Judarian, and Aldrich, you're next. Okay. Uh, Bellis walks to Jadarian and puts a hand on his uh, on his shoulder and gives him the the strength of stone from the ghost mother. St stick okay. your hand Roll. Roll high. <laughs> God, <laughs> you can do it if he rolls high enough. Four. There you go. Four. Four. Hey, exactly. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> There was much rejoicing. Right. <laughs> uh, okay, you restore enough strength to Jadarian for him to be able to pull his bow. All right, Jadarian, and then Aldric. We gotta fire two normal arrows again. 
Not and really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I fired two magical arrows in. Yep. Oh god. Uh, one's a twenty-one and one's a twenty. Both hits. Oh, the, 20, nice. the twenty hit as well. It's not great yeah. damage though. It's AC twenty. Uh, one's seven damage, minimum damage. Uh, one's twelve damage. Only 19 points of damage. Oh, oh. life is so hard. Okay. <laughs> Both arrows plow into the thing. You can see white energy ripples down its form as it sustains some kind of mortal injury. It half deliquesces onto the floor and then with a force of will pulls its form back together, clinging to existence just for a few moments longer. Aldrich. Uh, is Silverfire in Avil's hands? You want the sword? <laughs> yeah, give me the sword. Go get it! <laughs> <laughs> um, Aldrich uh, takes a sword and then uh, does a running uh, attack where he slides next to the creature and just cuts along its <laughs> flank. Slow <laughs> motion. Uh, with an... Uh, an, an uh, yeah. What's the... That's Ooh, just a 26 to hit. Yeah. Missed. Uh, yes, and uh, it does f uh, 13 points of damage. Weird music glitch there. 13. 13? Yes. Oh, oh, no, sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, 11 points of damage. Ah! Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Sorry, and the I, 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 but I, I, if, if it has a plus on it, then it might do more. I don't know. Yeah, I'm adding that. Okay. Uh, blade slices along its side, literally opens it up, this billowing gouts of pale blue fire and smoke surround you. You kind of come to the end of your skin, emerging from the smoke, look back over your shoulder to see the thing is completely sprawled to one side, almost entirely finished off. No, no, no. Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> Forwards. <laughs> Glasses come on. It stumbles towards you. Uh, Aldrich and bites. Hit. Claw. Hit. Second claw miss. Oh. I have I've I've armor class. <laughs> yeah, I have armor class too. Six, seven, nine. nine damage and four points of strength lost from the oh, uh, bloody hell. Spithing, freezing blow. Uh, nine. So you see nine points of damage. Uh, yeah, you're on twenty-five and fifteen strength. Okay, Hagen and Avil. All right. Is there any way, okay. now that I have the dagger, that I can sneak out there? Yeah. Let's Magic make a... dagger! <laughs> Magic cookery. Floor. yes, that's a success. <laughs> Link right. in the shadows along the side of the chamber and position yourself for a backstab. No, yep. shit, an assassination. Ooh. Yep, assassination. Okay, All it's, right. it's uh, treated as seven hit dice. Which for you is at, uh, 40%. Should I go ahead and roll the D100? Yeah. Right. Go, Hagen. Okay. It's your birthday. <laughs> what? It, I rolled 83. 83. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Well, so that's sure. <laughs> it's a standard but I still get to roll. It's a standard backstab, yeah. All right. It might and be enough. I, I believe I'm up to triple backstabs now, so. Yes, you are. That's what uh, that is. Eight times uh, three is 24. 24. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The uh, magic dagger <laughs> hits the thing's side. And the blue fire from the magic dagger fills the thing from end to end. And heals it. In slow <laughs> motion, the smoke of its body <laughs> simply comes apart billowing clouds of umbral material surrounding Hagen, obscuring him. And when it settles to the floor, all that remains is the half-elf and his blade and rapidly dissipating clouds of smoke. Hagen stands there for a Fuck moment. Fuck me. <laughs> he, inspects, he inspects the dagger, then looks around at everyone else. Found a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, that's no dagger, that's a kukri. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fortuitous. Yeah. Uh, Avil goes over to Aldrich and kind of helps him up. Uh, you lost a bit of your strength there, buddy. Um, 
You thank can't you, resist, Bellis. can you? <laughs> Sorry. I say thank you, Bellis. How's everybody? Oh, God. Well, do you want to run down? down? Yeah. Sorry, are you trying to speak there, Carl? I, I needed to have somebody have a strength up so they can carry me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's, do, let's, deal, let's deal with the strength have, thing first. I have 10 strength, I think, left, don't I? So, um, yeah. yeah. I'm a vertebral titan and with 15. <laughs> you still bits. got more than me. <laughs> <laughs> and me. The, the strength energy that you've lost starts to return. Oh, oh thank good. Thank God. God. <laughs> it, it does Fuck. not feel permanent. <laughs> oh. When it comes to hit points, Aldrich, 25. Bellis, 19. Shanta, still 20. Hagen, a 6. Jadarian, a 7. Avil, still 23. I have to do something about that. Can I use my um, I go of rest? I go over and help Bellis up. Yes, go ahead. For me. I feel a bit wobbly. Don't worry. It'll return in time. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it come the, back. It's for the entire group. Yeah, so you will get seven hit points back. Cool. Up to oh, thank you. And with that, I'm going to read you a haiku. Cool. Yay! <laughs> to lift our spirits. And I thought, you know, why not do one in the theme of this dungeon? Well, it's another... I give a cure serious to Hagen. <clears throat> it's another haiku. <clears throat> the heroes await. They have come this far only to die. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, done, well done, well done. <laughs> I don't like that one. I'm sorry, Apple. Very oh. good, Apple. Short but pointless. I'm so confused <laughs> about the uh, the human human sense of humor. It baffles me. I should. I, sh <laughs> I, I honestly don't care what the words are as long as I'm feeling better, and I am. So thank you. Oh, no, what, no problem. What was, what was the heal on that there, Bellas? Uh, the the uh, cure series on, uh, what was it? The... Hagen? Yeah, cure, cure moderate, right? Yeah, cure moderate. Are you on cure series already? No. 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 Wishful thinking. Uh, that is uh, <laughs> for three hit points. Woo! I'll take it. Thank you. 16, Hagen. Nice. I'm at 16, you said. I'll yeah. do a cure light after that. Lovely. And I'm on 14. Four, four hit points. For 20 to Hagen. Okay. Um, also, Shanta, your uh, imaginary Shanta's disappear. <clears throat> I do. I could do battlefield healing on other people. I've already done it on myself for the day, so I'll do it on Hagen, which is only one hit point. Anyone else need hit points? Shanta. I need. What, I need a, a couple of hit points. I haven't done it to you today. Yeah, you get three back, so you're back. Once you're fully healed. That, that, yeah, that's me fully healed. Yeah. Um, Jay Derek still me is still has wounded, right? Yes, yeah, five, five off. off. I go over to Avel and I say, I believe this is yours, and I hand him silver fire. Oh yes, absolutely. Great job today, brother. Yes. Yeah, you too. I say punching him. <laughs> the I, I punch on the him shoulder. Back. Uh, like a friendly punch, not like knocking Slightly him out. harder. <laughs> it's just like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> right Ouch. in the face. I'll cure I love you, brother. Me. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> I'll cure light wounds on Hagen for eight, so you get your full back. So you're on 29, Hagen. Jadari's yeah. some healing. Uh, How low are you? How low? I'm five off. Ah. It's like a quarter of my life. One. Thank you. Ooh. That was the high and the low. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Get out. <laughs> wow! I just want to help. <laughs> I said. I don't just... understand this elven humor. Uh, anyway, <laughs> okay. Says, so, uh, Hagen has located a secret loot stash, and uh, a quick investigation behind the other curtains reveals uh, similarly that these are reliquaries for the temple. The temple goods in total amass, you think, about 5,000 gold pieces worth of silver plates, altar services, candelabra, holy icons, or unholy icons. Um, mm. As I said before, nice. the, the, uh, the inner reliquary has, well, it had the dagger. It also has a trio of potions, 
and uh, what appears to be a large holy book. Holy or unholy? <laughs> oh, all right, then. Unholy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what language is it in? Uh, it's written in Kashigari, and anyone who speaks Kashigari will see that. Yeah, right. Well, it's called. I do. I do. The Can Libram. I read it? The Libram of Nine Tongues. It's a treatise on conjuration, necromancy, and deceit. So the uh, the core uh, the core tenets of any good demon worshipping religion. Um, you could of course sell it. You think you might be able to fetch, yeah, four or five thousand gold for this. You'd need to find somebody who's interested in uh, in demonology, of course, to be able to sell it. Does yeah, it, and um, isn't going to go and use it for nefarious purposes. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Does it have like spells in it or anything like Shanta, that? Shanta, Bellis, and Avil, leafing through the pages, you're fairly certain you could decipher a number of spells from this. Yes. <clears throat> who's the ah. wizard? I'm a wizard. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, quite a bit. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, we like this book. Shanta will... Uh, keeping the dagger, I assume. Chanta will just pick up the book and just be like, um, I can hold on to this for now and uh, translate it over for you guys later. Yeah, no talking to it. Do you want a quick rundown on the spells that are in it? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. There are two first level, three second level, and four third level spells in it. Nice. Uh, the first level spells are Identify and Burning Hands. Okay. Second level spells are Summon Swarm, Spectral Hand, and Invisibility. Ooh. Nice. Third level spells are Monster Summoning 1, Hold Undead, Spectral Force, and Wraith Form. Ooh. Interesting. Can you list the, the last ones for me again, sorry? Monster Summoning 1, Hold Undead, Spectral Force, and Wraith Form. Nice one. The last two again for me, please. Spectral <laughs> Force. <laughs> and Spectral Force, Force and Wraith Form. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> last one, please. <laughs> Can you uh, read it from the top, please? <laughs> <clears throat> it's a continent. It's a con right, what's a... Uh, I say no, that looks, that's definitely a curved blade. That's a cookery, Hagen. <laughs> I think I think by virtue of the fact that he found it on his own and used it so effectively, I think he deserves to keep it. Yeah, yes. I agree. I agree. When he was running and hiding, I definitely agree. That was, that was a thoroughly <laughs> oh, badass backstab. Now. Honestly, I was looking for something like that. Can I, <laughs> can I actually... Um, there's no version of insight in 2E, is there? Or is there... It depends what it is. And normally, there'll be an, it'll be an ability check. Um, okay, just because Chanta will be quite suspicious of Hagen in both fights of not really being there, mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's going to ask um, Hagen, "What what was it that um, you said happened at Fort Valandor again when you were there?" And the whole time she's going to be seeing if she can see if he's lying or. Being sneaky. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, the standard role for this would be a wisdom check. <laughs> <laughs> you believe him. <laughs> so I'm, I'm smart enough to question it, but I'm dumb enough to believe it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> you just say it again, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> I, I sneaked in. I found that Bone Mother Talora had been captured and taken to Damarash. I found out that Mordath plans to attack the ghost elves because they have two eyes, one of which they sent out west. And I found out that God is under some sort of drug or enchantment and is to be married to Saltara. Does that about cover it for you? Even you know, though it's low, can I still roll it? Go right ahead. <laughs> and it's a, a d20, and if I have to get under six. Six or, or lower, yeah. As high as you can, but no higher than your score. Got twelve, so just like, oh yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about that actually. The whole thing about Golric seeming to be some, under some sort of spell, he might just be happy that he's got a wife now. 
you know, I wouldn't <laughs> put him past him. It's more like I the don't butcher. Know, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll find out. I mean, we are going to try and rescue him, right? Let's we, let's we get to up to the top of this first. pyramid first, and 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 then worry about how we save my dear brother. Yeah, our dear brother, brother. <clears throat> Technically, he's more your brother than mine. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, spiral stairs lead up. Good little trick. You can run up these ones. <laughs> And uh, now that the uh, the battle is over, all of you, those of you who have not felt it so far, feel the wash of the Viridian flame spill over you. How is it affecting the others? Well, Aldrich. Mm -hmm. You grow an extra limb. <laughs> 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 you suffer the same acidic bite as Hagen, Ugh. losing three hit points permanently. Ow! Let's get out of this room. I feel like I'm getting a sunburn. And Avil, four. Likewise, the light's curse upon you puts you at minus one to hit for the remainder of your time here. Excuse Which me? hopefully will not be too long. See, I'm still a little bit confused. There was a a door on the outside leading in, so we haven't found that yet. No. There are uh, stairs, however, leading to an upper level. All right, let's keep a move on. Let's get yes. this. Hagen, can you lead the way? Yes. And I, I almost hesitate to ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We, don't, we can't have you. We can't have you leading the way again. No, oh, that happened. clearly didn't work. <laughs> did um? Did you say that in character, Lee, the as Judarian? Yeah. What, 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 what was that? About the uh, other entrance. Yes. Um. Well, after we get the eye, if it's safe enough, we can have a look round. I would like to check out the tombs. Of course. And uh. Will follow up the stairs very carefully, worried about my legs. Okay. <laughs> Hagen pronounces the uh, stairway free of traps, and uh, he turns out to be right. That's good. You emerge into what must be the topmost chamber of the pyramid. Because here the flame rises up to a flickering peak. And hanging in the air directly above it is an eye of Kalax. Almost straight away, you can hear its voice mingling, amplifying that of the flame. Come now. Take me, free me, I will give you whatever you need. And hanging in the middle of the flame, you can all hear it, not just the tiefling. It's as um. if the green fire gives voice to the eye's words. Shanta will step forward and go, okay, but she'll turn back to the others and kind of like try a wink. Uh. <laughs> um, we'll put uh, Mr. Squee on her shoulder. Um, mm -hmm. We'll subtly pour the last vial of like holy water that she has into the box that the KI was kept in prior. Yep. Yeah. We'll go forward and be if, like... Say, if she goes to step into the fire, he will stop her. Okay. Yeah. yeah, she will have to put her hand right into the fire to get the thing. Yes, that's very true. Ugh. It's I... okay. I yeah, I'll look after you. Come near, and she'll see if it'll come over to her first before putting her arms in. Okay, it doesn't, 
and I'm assuming that uh, this is where Jadarian yeah. holds you back. Nope. I don't this, think by the a way, idea. was the subject of this week's poll. Oh, really? Oh, what the fire does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be instant death. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Maybe we can lasso it. I've got some rope. Bellis, did you do something in the thing below to do with the flames? I forget. Like, did you, did you like, snuff them out earlier? I can't remember. No. No? Okay. Don't worry, then. Um... I'm thinking... Mm. Me too. It's okay, I'll, I'll get you out of there in just a second. No. Just gonna... I, can I walk around the room and see if there's anything in the alcoves that might help us with this particular... Is eyes hanging from a rope, or what? It's just, it's just hanging in the air. Is, is there oh, like uh, a hook? You know, no, like a long no. hook stick? I think thing. it's like floating. It's just yes, Maybe, floating. Aldric, you can use your ranceur to like push it. I shoot uh, it. Aldric, as you walk yeah. around the chamber, you see nothing in the uh, in the alcoves. No. I have an idea. I think that it's long since gone. What, what, is, the, what is the distance uh, of the hole? It's, 40, 40, it's, it's 80 feet across. What? Yeah, each square is 20 foot. <clears throat> So I'm, I can't just use my quarter staff. No. Oh man! All right. Well, it's in the middle, so it's it's. Jadarian. Even the, sh- the shortest um, distance will be forty feet. I, yes. I I throw something in into the flame. See what, how that reacts to the flame. Uh, what do you throw into the flame? A, a piece of cloth. Okay. It flutters out into the fire, and then eventually it's kind of blown loose from the updraft, and floats to the floor. So it doesn't actually burn. It does not burn. No. Okay. Oh, it seems I have, safe. I have an idea. No, 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 no. You guys Hunter, have a rope? Stop. I, <laughs> I have a rope. I would I've like to try some. something. I've got rope. Jadarian will get... Okay, my suggestion... Jadarian? Jadarian will get his finger and start pointing and then start going... Bzzz, and a bee will appear. And I just want to take the bee inside of the fire. A living creature. Okay. The bee so when, when was he able to do that? Flies into the flame. The light completely surrounds it. But the bee appears unharmed. I try and bring it back out again. Okay, it comes out. Hmm. It, it seems fine, guys. Is so, there any way to check it? Oh, in the in the spell book, um, identify. Yeah. Can, no, you can't. We have to learn it first. Hmm. How long does it take to learn a spell? Uh, uh, first level spell take you a day. Oh. I have a, I have another suggestion, guys. Um, I have a rope. Uh, Hagen's got a rope. We, I have a I, rope. I have a rope at, too. At what height is this uh, this eye floating? Thirty foot up. Thirty foot up. Um, Jadarian, you you can cast spider climb, right? I can, yes. I can probably so just climb we, up there. Why don't we take Shanta's blanket, yeah? Sorry, dear. Um, and we tie one rope to the blanket and tie the other rope to the blanket, like a, like a, like a spoon scoop. Uh-huh. And we have Jadarian climb up to the uh, up along the wall, and then we fish it out of the fire, like that. That's assuming it will actually release if you scoop it and, and well, pull at it. I reckon it will. I mean, what's holding it in place right now? Maybe we should get the bee to try and push it first. Jodair will knock an arrow. Maybe just shoot it out. Uh, maybe, maybe that will try. Does, won't that break the the eye? No, it's, a, it's stronger than that. Mm-hmm. Nothing will, never, yeah. nothing will damage it except it, it, uh, when, it when, when Aldrich okay. says, will, "Will the arrow damage the eye?" Aldrich sort of like looks to Chanter, looks at Aldrich, and worries who's the wiser one. Hmm. If you if you shoot it, won't it push it out and then it might fall and then I... It took Dragon's Breath to kill the last one. Why would an arrow I, kill this one? I can't only water it if it's mm. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try and shoot it. Yeah, you can try it. Why not? I'll try and shoot I really, it. I really don't think it's going to damage it. Okay, uh, the arrow flies out, strikes the eye, and... <clears throat> The arrow snaps mid shaft. Oh. I don't want my blanket to break. 
The eye doesn't well, budge. Then perhaps we have to stop whatever magic is keeping it in place. Uh, is there anything written on the walls? Uh, no. no. Take me. Yeah, okay. Just oh, no. Trying. Come on. Can you see us not working here? Can I try and gather it with my cantrip? Yes. You can try. I'm going to try it. Okay. You're, you're doing that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. trying to okay. gather it. A simple cantrip. The energy of the cantrip reaches out, snares the eye of Kalax. The light of the Viridian flame suddenly peaks to brilliant, fiery jade in color, and a tongue of it loops around the eye of Kalax and down an invisible conduit to wrap itself around Shanta. You see it as the literal energy of her gather cantrip that has been illuminated, forming a connection between her and the flame. Shanta's head throws back and she screams as the young eye of Kalax hurtles across the chamber and into her outstretched hand. The flame ripples about you. Can I put that back? Can I, can I try and put it in the box? You slam it into the box. The flames are just up and down her arm, across her face and head, and all of you now hear the Viridian flame. <laughs> the flames go out. Only the single one, flickering gently in the center of the chamber, remains. They dissipate from Shanta's body. Is Shanta burned at all? Or is Am it... I okay at all? Not physically, but you can feel that curse, that hatred sinking deep inside you. What's the curse? A permanent minus two penalty on saving throws. Oh dear. Oh man! At least I'm not dying in a few weeks. <laughs> specifically, saving throws against spells. Cool. Did you really just go there? Cool, 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 the Eye of Kalax is indeed in the holy water in your special box. Is Squee okay? He looks like a newt now. Oh, He's deflated. <laughs> oh, he's fine. The witch it's okay. turned my frog into a newt. <laughs> <laughs> it got better. <laughs> um, and I, I know that I, I can feel that I'm just going to be more prone to getting... Yeah, you you can feel your, an innate vulnerability to sorcerer's energies has made itself a home inside you. I, um... Oh. I got it. <laughs> Lovely image. <laughs> oh. But I, I, I don't feel like I can withstand <clears throat> stuff anymore. Let's, right. We have what we came for. Carefully. Hagen, can we see if we can get these doors open? If I'm not mistaken, they open out into that balcony. Uh, I'll get is there more steps that go up? No. Okay. Are the doors locked? <clears throat> uh, the inner one is not locked, no. As you push it open, you see what your kind and generous dungeon master means by inner doors. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Is there Give some, me a break. Somebody here? Oh, yes. <sighs> Maybe but we of could. Course. We should have backtracked to that other passage. Yeah, we could have slid down the thing, you know? Oh. Four of these forms oh, loose themselves oh. from the wall 
tank oh. steps towards you. Quickly, close the doors. This, run away, run away. away. The They're spellcasters. The very first step, you see the first one's knee gives way <clears throat> in a plume of dust. It falls forward. The second one only manages three steps before its body disintegrates around it. One by one, time catches up with all of them. Whatever magical energy sustained the ones on the lower level have long since dissipated here. And oh. all four undead collapse in sighing, hissing forms. Oh my God. Well, all right then. <laughs> Tito pretends he's just finishing off a spell. Yes. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Well, now, now we can, now we can look at things because it's safe. Quickly, quickly sift through. Uh, no more interest in looking. Remains. Yeah, maybe not, but yeah, let's, let's just get the hell out. There's tombs below that may belong to Chanter's parents. Yes. <clears throat> parents. All right, let's go look, but quickly. Quickly yes, sift the right. sift through the the remains of these these mummies. And you guys can get loot and stuff if you mm. want. Perhaps the absence of the uh, accoutrements and special grave goods are what fail to keep their spirits intact. These have nothing of any particular value on them, unlike the ones down below. They are the braces, aren't we? So, are you heading back down the way you came? Or are you sliding down the outside of the pyramid and going in the front door again? We oh, we're not doing do. the sliding thing. That's that's just generally not a good idea. No, I think that's a good <laughs> idea. Oh, it could be so fine. Cool. <clears throat> oh, did you, did down, you mean did you mean go down to the secret door on the uh... which we can't do? Um, well, J. No, no. will just say turn around and and to to one group say Anyatia, and then to another Anitheria, and then just jumps off the edge. It says, "Follow me." Okay. Uh, what what does that mean? Yep, I'll jump off. You can off. see him just sort of like floating down. Come <laughs> Total trust. You, you're going to try and pick me up and throw you, me down. You, you feel light <laughs> as a feather. That's right. Oh. Area, area effect featherfall. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. 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 All right, and then. As, as a group then, you descend gently. Uh, I do not. It sounds lead, 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 you do. That's the <laughs> <terrible> <laughs> Is he there. screaming all the way down? <laughs> Dungeon Master. That's what happens. <laughs> I like to imagine it's all of us falling gracefully and then it's just Alder like. <laughs> <laughs> He's clanking his with, way with down. this expression on his face the whole time. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Avil's got a similar expression. Like, I wanted to slide down the pyramid. <laughs> oh, I can always make that happen. John is like <laughs> pretending to fly, like putting our hands out, like Mary Poppins. Okay. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. All right, so that's uh, level one. Where is it? There we go. Oh my so, goodness! We never, actually, we never actually did anything with level one, did we? Well, you can see the bits you went to. Yeah, this yeah. is where the worst traps are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this is just. I don't, why are we? Why are we doing this? Uh, I know. It's like when you when you complete the Tomb of Horrors, you think let's go back and have a second look. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No one ever yeah. thought that, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I I yes? don't I don't remember really anything of my childhood, and they seem to think that maybe some of my ancestors or even my parents might lay here. I. Well, let's like carefully to... have a look. All right. Okay. So, I'll, do uh, this, I'll do this for you, but this is this is uh, this is against my better judgment. And with her final spell, it's going to shield herself. Actually, no, second to last spell. I'm going to use shield on myself. Okay. Gotcha. All and right. Nudge, nudge Hagen. You're good at this. Right. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> I cast the phantom armor on myself. Yes, got it. I knock an arrow. I take out my sword. I take right. out my dagger. Nice, it glows. Uh, Ooh. Oh, no, I've got that now. I pickpocketed it. Does the dagger <laughs> always glow, or is it just like is it a sting kind of thing when there's danger? 
At the moment, it's 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 been glowing all the time. Okay. Whenever it's whenever it's unsheathed, it glows. You don't know if there's a kind of a problem for an assassin. If there's an, if there's an off switch, but yeah, it's worth looking into, perhaps. Okay, so do you, are you going to go into the the main corridor on north again, or are you going to take one of the different routes? Where do we land? By the front gates. Yeah. yeah. No, we don't. We we oh, we slid down the side on using Featherfall. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're back down the beginning. Look, I thought we went down the central chimney. Sorry. Yeah, so also like, oh, okay. Down the central chimney through the fire. <laughs> through the fire. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, why we, I, that's on, why I thought it was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Forty six. Drop the lowest. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can see okay. the uh, yeah. To the front. Yeah. So so yeah. we're now at the front and the and the very ba- bottom level. As yeah. it were. Good. 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 Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I will. Um. I. 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 I, I say we go the same way that we've been before, so that we don't spring any unsprung traps, but try and get to the tombs. Well, this time we have Hagen with us, so we'll be a little bit better. Uh... Jaden looks a bit like taken like offence to this, <laughs> as he thought he did a good job. You did do a good job, absolutely. <laughs> but you're not Hagen. I didn't say anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone just starts complimenting right. him. He's like. <laughs> it's like no, you you were great. Like <laughs> I sense sarcasm. <laughs> so you retrace your steps then along the uh, the main hall, past the frescoes of the slightly suspicious tiefling gods, up through area two, and then along the corridor where you fought the ankegs, and then eventually to here where once more you stare down into the central chamber where the light of the Viridian flame can be seen. There, is there anything moving around in the in the chamber? I use my danger at present, sense. At present there is not, no. Yeah. And this gives you an understanding of... Uh, of its true extent. Whoa. I will be searching for secret doors and stuff like that. Jadari knew her. Give a solid search around the exterior. What's that in the south? The 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 statue statue and the... What? Curtains? Yeah, behind the tapestry. That's exactly Um, what it is. I'd like to check it out. Is okay. anyone coming with me? A bit careful. I'd want to check out the tapestry. Okay. Well, you pass by the uh, the central aisle, and you can see by the light of the Viridian flame all around, there are shelves in set. And on them, wrapped in aged cloth, bodies. As you get nearer to the statue, you see it is of a bloated humanoid. His feet and head, that of some monstrous ram-like creature, hairy haunches and cloven feet, the head almost skeletal. Does better no. horns. Cradled in one thick fist, an ornate rod with a skull for a tip. Does Bellis know who, who this, uh, uh, this statue depicts? Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> I know. Avel, you said you were going to go look at it. Mm-hmm. Bellis, you must be. Um, Shanta wanted to come look at the tapestries. Can all three of you please make me a saving throw? What? What do I get minus again? <laughs> at minus two for you, Shanta. Minus two. Uh, where am I saving, saving throw against what? Just roll it. 17. That's really bad. That's a six on the dice, minus two, so that's a four. Bellis? 15. 15. Okay. Uh, do I get pluses? No, that's fine. I've got, I, I get a plus in, because I'm in, the, in, in here, right? So I get 16, actually. Yes, you get a 16. Okay. I think we've lost uh, we'll Grandy again. again. Yeah. <clears throat> Power cuts, poor guy. Okay. Um, 
Shanta, you have an unmistakable, unshakable sensation that the statue is looking at you. Uh, hello? Everyone, Shanta included, hears a deepened tone in the murmuring coming from the Viridian flame. Not just a high-pitched hissing whisper, there's a guttural. Oh. This seems to come from the earth beneath the temple. Uh, Chanta, what's up? I, I distract her from what she's she, she doing. What is, what is that noise? Oh, I, I, I think the statue is looking at me. I don't know if it's... Oh, oh, that's not good. Don't look at the statue. This is a, a very evil, evil god. Can I look away from the statue? Very evil. Yes, of course. Absolutely. She'll get a blanket and kind of cover her face. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll lead her away. <laughs> you lead uh, Shanta away from the statue. And, uh, well, she's got the, the blanket over her face. Aldrich, it is you who notice the names on the wall near the statue. Or should I say okay. the surname? These aren't the oldest of the, uh, of the tomb shelves. They can't have been here for more than 20, 25 years at most. The wrappings, although stale and musty, are still tight. Decay hasn't set in. They bear the name Flare. I stop. I pull Shanta's blanket away from her face. Is it safe? Look, and I point at the name. Are they the names I see? Yes. Chiro and Ardo Flair. Do you recognize those names? Tiefling names. Do the they bodies don't... look like they have horns? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like so many of them in here, they are tieflings. Oh, Chanta. Is there anything else that... Does it say anything else by the name? Tieflings of Highthorn is all it says. I want to go home now. You okay? Mm-hmm. Well, if we've got everything we need. You, do you think we could take them with us? They are buried here. Hmm. You want to rebury them? Yeah. Okay. How can we take the remains with us? Do we have anything to put them in? You don't. However, you came here on horses. Is there any something like a, like a, like a, because uh, this is a burial chamber. Are there any like, uh, um, how do you call those things? Um, Carts where you put a body or a coffin in? Let's just do cameras quickly. Um, so okay. if Drew leaves his on, um, so it's just, and then back on for, so it's Carl first. Aldrich, Savelle, Mark. 
Cheers, Drew. That's it. Dump. Okay. <sighs> might, have to do, might have to do it again if, if uh, Granny does yeah. get back online. After a bit of searching around, Bellis, you were able to find a small funeral cart in one of the outer alcoves here. Is there like a shroud or something we can put the bodies in? or? A, a, well, the bodies something? are, they're wrapped in funeral shrouds already. Okay, so they're they're transportable as such. Yes. Yes. Okay, well. Oh, I'll help them put the bodies on the card. Yeah. You too. Okay. Are you sure this is okay? I said to Shanta. I looked at Bellis. Is this something normal? Robbing the grave. She wants to rebury her, her, her family. Of course, she can rebury her family. I don't think they would have known that Amor Nibor isn't so kind. I don't know. Maybe they did it. Well, when you, as you're moving the bodies away, there is that again, that sensation of the statue staring at you as you remove these forms from under its auspices. To take them from here, to rebury them in sacred ground, to steal souls from the demon lord, perhaps it invites retribution. But perhaps it will bring them a peace they might otherwise have been denied. I can feel him or the statue looking at me, right? I won't turn back around, but as they're taking them out, just she'll keep looking towards the exit. Won't look at him, but I'm sorry. I know it seems disrespectful, but I believe these are my only family members and I'd, I'd like to be able to visit them and we live quite far away from here, so I am sorry if this offends you in some way. Um, and she'll kind of go to look back, but she won't, and she'll just kind of hurry out. Okay. I'll uh, push the cart. Its wheels creak and grind over the sand. As you make your way out onto the desert and away from the pyramid of the Viridian Flame. I use uh, preservation uh, orisons to make sure that uh, the remains are reasonably intact. intact and preserved for the journey. Okay. Did I find any other secret doors or not? No, there aren't any okay. on that level. Well, in that chamber, should I say? Okay. <sighs> Success, then. You have another of the eyes of Kalax. And thanks to Hagen's skill at spycraft, have the location of two more. One with the ghost elves of the dead forest, a fact they concealed from you on your last visit there. And another taken west to Galhanoi. You know that House Mordath has plans to strike at the ghost elves and take by force what the elves so far have refused to even share knowledge of the existence of. And so you have a race against time on your hands to return to the dead forest before the forces of House Mordath do, to persuade the elves to give to you 
what they kept secret. And almost certainly a rendezvous with a former acquaintance of yours. The only creature that you know of that can destroy the eyes of Kalax. A creature that you have promised to bring death to, even though you have no idea how. Also Chanta's best friend. <laughs> I thought Indeed. that was Squee. Yeah. She oh, has no. multiple best friends. <laughs> the undead dragon <laughs> bore on Cathriax. The love of my life. But that's another story for next time. Thank you everybody for uh, staying with us. Next episode is episode 10, Double Figures, Unprecedented. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And uh, we'll see what uh, <clears throat> scrapes our uh, heroes can get themselves into then. Yeah. Thank you again to our uh, patron supporters. Uh, yes. I kind of think they picked one of the easy options because there were some much nastier things on that list. But so you oh, can- do tell. You, like, you can, uh, please tell, please tell. Oh, like oh, yeah. ability score losses, gonna... level oh, drains. Shut up. I don't like even that. want to hear it anymore. You just asked me to tell you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I regret that decision. I'm so glad it was level drain. Whoever the patrons, thank you. Because yes. even though it was bad, it wasn't the worst. And I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, could have yes, done I appreciate worse. that too. Yeah, yeah. could have killed me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you also to our viewers and uh, anyone who subscribed and supported. Yeah. Super appreciate it. Welcome to the new and, people uh, as well. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. And I thank you guys for playing. Yeah. And we are live yeah. tomorrow oh, and no Saturday. Problem. So hopefully, you guys, see you then. Tune in. Hey. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.